Boom! How you guys like them apples, huh? What's up? Uh, how's it going, guys? Today's day two of the stream week, and we back again with Resident Evil 4. And, uh, yeah, we just made some decent progress with the game yesterday. And, uh, we're gonna continue some more gameplay. And, uh, yo, in case you guys didn't know, I just, d just got done completing Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 0 on hard. So, you know, the game not allowing me to play this on a hard mode right off the bat kind of feels whack, bro. Because I always take pride in, like, beating a game on, like, a really, like, decently hard difficulty. Let's go, man. Loading, please, wait. Damn. Alright, here we go. So, we are at... They don't even say the location of where you're at. Like, I, I remember the previous Resident Evil games, like, they kind of tell you when you whenever you save, like, which part of the building you were at. Okay, damn, I'm getting, like, Vietnam flashbacks of the chainsaw dude I just killed. Oh, shit, they repaired the door, for real? Boom, bitch. Alright, they're dead, right? Yeah, they better be dead, son. Fuck, okay, I'm all the way out here. I think I killed a bunch of people here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Let me take a look at my inventory real quick. So, all right, this is where we were supposed to go. So there's like a door in front of me and it's like blocked, but how am I going to get through? I mean, according to the map, it's like a red door. I think I do have the key. Yo, what it do, Soggy Doritos? Hey man, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I got a lot of decent sleep last night, and um, yeah man, I, I'm, dude, I'm so happy. I had a great day, well how about you bro? How is your day? Damn, let me see. I got like a key, remember? Remember, I remember. I got this freaking key, right? So does that mean I can open up the church at the back? Um... Yo. Remember there was like a church that I could get through, but like, it's not even here. Damn, look at that. So many areas to explore. Pretty meh. Why? What's your day like so far, Doritos? Not enough Doritos, huh? You have unbarred the door. Oh, so it was nothing to do with the key. I thought it was about the key. Man. Oh, shit. Did they even know I'm here? Oh, shit. Chill. Grenada. Ooh, damn. Eat that shit, motherfucker. Huh? You like that? What the fuck? Boom! Okay. Woo, we out, we out. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. What's wrong with them? Were we here before? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit. We out, we out, we out, we out. Yo! Damn, we just holding up in here, man. Are they gonna climb up? Yeah, I'm just gonna chill here, bro. You just ordered some pizza. Tight. What kind of pizza you got? Yo, what the hell? Aren't they gonna climb the ladder? Hey, man. I don't see no one climbing up. Why? Come on. 
So sell though. Yo, they ain't climbing up, man. What the hell? Hey, pull up, son. Hey, bro, I can't... I can't even see that far down. Oh, shit. Are they all gathered beneath me? Bro, maybe it was a bad idea climbing up here, man. Should I switch to the rifle and start popping heads? Okay, let me see. Pepperoni. Man, I like pepperoni pizza. But I haven't had it in such a long time, you know? Pepperoni. Damn. Uh, okay, let me rearrange my items real quick. Okay, maybe not. I think I should probably jump down, but they're probably here. I don't see them. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, yo, chill. Uh, shotgun. Damn. Yo, take that shit. Bitch. Oh shit. Okay, okay, chill, chill, chill. This is what you get, boy. Oh shit. Boom. Take that shit. Mierda. Oh no, no, no. Okay, ho. Oh, damn. Oh damn. What about this dude, man? If I shoot him, will he fall? Oh, headshot, bitch! Damn, I'm such a beast, bro. Did you see that? I literally took them all on. I was like, bro, I ain't running, man. You disrespect me like that, you know? You ain't gonna live for it long. You thought. You thought, motherfucker, you thought. That's what happens. Get fucked. Yeah, you thought, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Do they have, like, more items and shit in this place? Fuck, this dude is, like, still here. Like, shouldn't he be burned to a crisp? Alright, man, let me take a look at that map real quick. Damn, I was tight. Oh, shit, they got a save inside. Okay, um... But maybe let's take a look and see if they actually restock their, their ammo and stuff. Okay, wait, let me reload my shotgun because like, you know, it is what it is. Chick chick, motherfucker. Watch out, man, watch out. It's like, I don't know why like shotguns are synonymous with like zombies and stuff, but I guess it makes sense. Okay, turn this around. Yeah. Yeah. Real G. Man. Beautiful. Restores health partially. Damn, we good, son. Can I say what's up to the cow? Poor cow, bro. Having to leave, live with this these crazy peoples. Hello, cow. Yeah, I don't know if they have, like, new items here. I mean, I've already been here before. I, I think I, I cleaned this place out. And it don't seem like they got new shit. But I think I'm gonna try to go upstairs at least. See if they got something. Bitch! Ooh. Oh, for a second there, I thought there were new boxes here. Oh, wait. Can I not open this? Wait, I thought I could open this. There are very small items here, nothing useful, okay. Ew. Many small insects are feasting on leftovers. Ew. Disgusting. That was pretty sweet, bro, when I pulled out the shoddy, and I was like, blam, blam. 
Motherfucker. Like, I knew at that moment, like, using, like, one shotgun pallet would have been infinitely better than using, like, multiple handgun bullets. Even though I usually save my, uh, handgun bullets for other shits. Pepperoni. Requies in pace. Alright, here we go. So I guess we should go inside the church because now we have the key for it, but I just wonder, like, do they don't seem to respawn any kind of items, you know? It'd be nice if they put like occasionally put like items like here and there for me to pick up. But then again, I'm kind of greedy, right? Like I think they give you like a ton of items right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? So let's go inside the church and talk to the people inside. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before I go in, I'm gonna just do one more last sweep around. Cause now we have the key to go inside. Man. Ooh, they actually have a cage here with like a chicken inside. Oh no, I don't think that's a chicken. That's a piece of wood. Okay. Um, let me see. Damn, they roasting this dude. What in God's name? You know, honestly, I never actually known what happened to the other guy. Remember, there were like two guys. Right? Damn. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Should I try to go inside? It's locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol on the door. You know, previously in the older, like, Resident Evil games, they would just open the door if you have the item. Yeah, safe room, baby. Nice. Oh, man, they didn't put anything inside that stupid box. Damn. Uh, okay. Um, are we good? Alright, let me arrange my handgun ammo again because I got extras right now. Red Hawk. <laughs> Damn. Why did they call it Red Hawk? Sounds a little too much like, you know, red cacks. That's the extent of how dirty guys' minds are. Normal, safe, successful, tight. Open up, FBI, bitch! Oh shit. I think you can totally light this up. I wonder if I should do it right now because like sometimes like they, they drop something cool. Fuck, should I do it? Okay, I, you know, if nothing happens, I think I'll just reload because this could be useful later, I guess. Damn. Ooh, there is an item. It's a spinel. It's a spinel. Man. Alright, let me save. You know, I think a like a zombie game in like France would be pretty cool, right? You see like some zombies speaking French. You know? Como ça va? Merci beaucoup. Je t'aime zombie. Damn, fuck, why do I have to go down? Shit. Damn, why do I have to go down? Shit, yeah, this is some new shit. Oh, there's a merchant down below. Oh, I don't think there's a way back. Oh, wait, there's this ladder. Easy, nah. Imagine if, like, the merchant, instead of the voice he has, he has the Family Guy Cleveland voice, you know? Hi, Peter! You know? <laughs> oh, shit, my monitor closed. Fuck. 
Whatever, dude. I don't even give a shit anymore. I wonder what happens if you set this thing on fire, like... I mean, like... Ooh, they got shinies here. Oh, shit. So, you only can see, like, the, um... You only can see the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the shiny shit, because, like, you turn off the lights, huh? Okay, wait a minute. I think, like, some of the items can be combined. Okay, wait. My bad. Michelle! What it do? Why you late, huh? I thought we were boys, but you betrayed me. That is straight sh traitor shit. You're missing my handsome face, thank you. Thank you. You know a handsome face when you see it, don't ya? Don't ya? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're late more often now? What's up? What's up with that? Why? Why are you late? I thought we were balling. You did that voice acting? Isn't it isn't really voice acting, bro? It's really just a bad attempt at voice acting. Wait, can I combine this with this? Aww, I thought we could combine this with that. I think this thing had like three, three divots, like something might fit. Oh wait, can we fit like the spinel? No. Oh wait, we got another like shiny ruby. Can we combine this with something? Ow, oh, come on, chim on, bro. Okay, this one I probably could sell. Brass pocket watch. There are signs of use, but this brass watch may still be worth something. Okay. Alright. So, is this the way in or out? Wait a minute. Shit, I'm a little lost. Alright, wait, let me check the map. Okay, okay, okay. This way, this way. Welcome! Got a lot of good things on sale, stranger. Got something that might interest you. Got something might, that might interest you. You should apply a job for Resident Evil 4 as voice actor. Got that voice can make you money. Now I think pe there's like a million other people that can do it better. All right, let's what see what we got. Buying? What are you buying? What are you selling? Come back anytime. Damn. TMP. I'm getting better, better, yeah. I gotta do it more often. Oats tends to revert back to Ocelot, really? Ocelot, like... Wait, how does Ocelot sound again? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that actually, that is actually Ocelot's voice, right? Like, the revolver is the greatest handgun in the world. I love the sensation of reloading. That's too gravelly. I, I have no control over my voice. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Hey guys! It's me, Mickey Mouse. Be honestly really cool if you was a part of the resident. Yo, that week would require someone like hiring me. Like I gotta be an actor in order to do that, you know that? Like in order to even work as a VO for games or whatever, you gotta like have some background in acting or voice over they don't just hire some fucking streamer dude from twitch to do that shit kind of liquid snake like liquid snake is doesn't sound like that liquid snake is like brother you thought you got me this time didn't you brother with a really bad like brother oh that's like the ocelot from our um mgs4 brother the patriots yeah. I can do a pretty good, like, impression of God of War, Kratos. You gotta give me a second to do it. Wait for it, wait for it. Boy. How you guys like that? Boy. You got nice voice acting skills. Thank you very much, Michelle. Also from MGS4, bruh. I think that shit will, like, tear your voice cords. Boy. Yeah, it sounds perfect, right? Thank you. 
Thank you. What are you buying? What are you buying? What are you selling? Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. TMP. What are you selling? What are you selling? Yo, uh, Fox, did you know that the voice actor for the merchant is the same voice actor for Leon in this game? It's crazy, man. If you go on YouTube, you can watch that shit. It's like, wow, for real? Okay, I don't really need to sell anything because I don't really have anything to buy. Out of stock. Damn, the rocket launcher looks real tempting right now, but I don't even... I don't have enough space. Why is this thing out of stock? Damn. You had no idea, man. That's crazy. Yo, it's pretty crazy. And like, there was like a a live recording video. I think someone took on their phone of like the voice actor for Leon in this game. He 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 sounds like an ordinary dude. He doesn't actually even sounds like Leon. That's how good he is, right? Do you guys want to watch it together with me? I love that shit. Okay, hold up. Can I pull that up? Is Leon the voice actor for Ashley too? Nah, that would be a little too talented. If he did that shit, bro. Like, no other voice actors would be earning money. Okay, let me pull up that shit. Yeah, my monitor actually died, so... Let's see. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up my browser so you guys can see, like, what I'm talking about. But, you know. It was, it was pretty amazing, man. You guys wanna see this, right? Let me pull up the YouTube. Let me look for the video. Excuse me. Thank you, sir. Please have a bit of patience. Damn, you guys want to see Soggy Doritos? Damn, it's pretty tight. Okay. Leon Voice Merchant Air E4. Uh. Okay, I'm trying to look for the video. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's also a really famous name, a uh, guy for uh, voice acting and shit. Man, this. No okay, here we go. Wait, hold up. Is this the video? I think this is the video. Never ends. I need to reach out to the president and warn him about the Uroboros project. I only can hear mm. sound coming from my left Nightmare's ear. Nightmare's not over yet. Uda suspected that Tricell was behind Will Pharma. There must be a way to warn the nation. Is he the same voice for like into the headquarters of Unwired TV? Although it has Oh, is this the guy? It's happened before. Uh, me, I wanted to just, you know, see what was out here, uh, especially in, in, in feature film and, and TV. And when I started booking commercials and uh, and and some uh, some animated shows and and all of a sudden video games were starting to really catch on. He looks Before Russian to you, really he does. People who were pioneers in the field. I mean, this is when we had, what, like 8-bit... He does sound a little know, bit like Leon, a little bit. ...that, you know, you'd scream or something after falling down a well, and it'd be like, no, you know what? We have to make it shorter because we only have, you know, 612 kilobytes for this file. Um, I think eventually he does the merchant voice, but you guys gotta wait for it. He has Watch a Putin face. Damn, sort of that's harsh, bro. Chase. Why are you roasting the my man? Imagination of some of these people that are working Fuck today. Roasting my man for, that's what I'm looking for. Some respect for Leon, bro. But I'm looking backward to the future. What were you thinking? What voice acting have you done? What's interesting to me is my career has uh, sort of taken so many different uh, morphings and uh, morphings. No. My career has had so many different shapes and uh, wonderful things to it. Uh, I've never really dialed into one particular genre of anything because, um, I don't know, I, maybe it's because I have ADD. My, one of my favorite games to do, uh, one of my favorite characters was, uh, was Spectre in SOCOM. Oh, you uh, did Spectre in SOCOM? Uh, for the U.S. Navy SEAL SOCOM 2. And uh, we did... Gosh, nah, it's too late for that, Michelle. You, you ruined it. You call him Putin. Uh, but that lasted about uh, eight or nine years. So to be able to watch how Spectre grew um, and his ability to 
you know, think clearly and give orders in specific situations. In fact, some of the some of the biggest fans of of so. Okay, when does he actually do the merchant voice? Themselves. So that tells you something right there. Ooh. Onimusha three. Oh, he did Onimusha uh, three. I am Jean Reno. Oh, he's John Ren Yu. Um, Damn, for I'm real? John. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Actually, however, I pick up where he leaves off. Okay, let me try fast forward a little bit. How was your experience with Resident Evil 4? Well, you gotta get from yeah. My experience with Capcom is similar to this interview. I think that they put you. Um, I think there's something you need to tell us. Okay, I think this is the part where the voice actor for Leon does the merchant voice, and this is where we discover that he is. Jesus, Michelle, calm <laughs> down. Yes, what else would you like to know? <laughs> A lot of uh, uncredited voices here and there, and well, everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> they didn't even know. Yeah, he was he was the merchant. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. What are you selling? What are you selling? What are you buying? Is that it? I can't even remember. Jeez, he's the guy. Hey, what's up, Sineki? Welcome back. Got a lot of good things for you, stranger. What are you selling? <laughs> what are you buying? What are you buying? Not enough cash. Not enough cash. Damn, I do it better than him. Damn. Oh, he's okay. Okay, he's talking about inspiration for the merchant. Let's see how he gets it. Inspiration um, that I get. Oh my god! I didn't know you were gonna come so close to me. Um, we just met. Oh, thank you, Michelle. But, nah, I'm just playing. Really oh, it actually does it better because I play the games. He probably did uh, it the same way as me. On is pretty much my family. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm done. I can't. I can't listen to his shit anymore. But yeah, there you go, man. The voice actor for Leon is the voice actor for the Merchant. And uh, you know, I think like when I was a bit young, younger, I always tried practicing the Merchant's voice. I think I kind of got the intonation pretty close, like the delivery, but I didn't have the maturity of the voice back then because when I was really young, I haven't started smoking yet. I haven't started drinking yet. So my voice sounded more like this. And I sounded like, yo, I didn't have that boy. I had that deep gravelly voice because if I wanted to do that, I can talk like this all day. Yeah. So. Now I can, if I really wanted to, I should. What are you buying? I should practice that shit, bro. I can do like kids' birthday parties and whatnot. <laughs> oh no. Shit. Did we save? I think we saved like behind us, but in front of us, there's like no place to save, bro. Okay, I think it's best we double back and save one time because like I just recently got the the you know the the diamonds from like uh, the ceiling. So I don't want to have to go back and do that again. So let me just double back, make one like extra save and then come here and do this. Thank you, Michelle. You're really getting good at doing the voice. But eventually I won't do it enough and then I'll lose it. So it takes a while. And you know, the, the, the funny thing is like when I wasn't a streamer at the time, I I did it for to make my friends la laugh, right? So I used to go to a college where I was studying game design. So everyone loved games and everyone played Resident Evil 4. So I would be driving the car on my way home uh, with like a bunch of people, you know, in the back of my car. And then, uh, you know, I, occasionally I pull out the voice and then everyone would start laughing or like, you know, like kind of like, damn, son. Then we all start talking about RE4 and what the series meant to us. 
And at that time, I think I was a pretty staunch supporter of RE4. I, I felt that this game was the best RE game of all time. But it's not, sadly. Damn, I bet you're gonna be dogs in here. Bitch. Fuck. They always drop items. Ayeta! Oh fuck. Okay, grab grab the stuff. Oh shit! Oh shit! What the fuck? Where did she come from? Oh! Okay, I dodged that. Okay. Bitch! I just remember here around this area there were dogs. It's amazing how your opinion changes, right? It does. But at the time, I think my opinion was not fair because... Um, at the time, when I was a kid, I never actually completed Resident Evil 1. I liked Resident Evil 2. But I think I was like really enamored by the bomb-ass graphics that like RE4 had. Like this game is like mad beautiful back in the day, right? And there was like nothing like it. There, there was like no over-the-shoulder third-person game. That, that like did it like RE4. So I really was enamored by that. And like in hindsight, now I look back, it's like, you know, graphics would never ever top gameplay. Gameplay will always and always will be the most single important thing about a game, you know? And it's important to realize that because like, I think like across the years, uh, people tend to forget like what games like were really like, you know? Because till this day, I've played RE2 Remake, I've played RE3 Remake, and they don't even come close to RE1. And you know what I, you know what's the funny thing? I had a warped memory of RE1. I really thought RE1 was like a bare bones survival horror game because it was the first one. So in my head, I thought that they only innovated on RE, the Resident Evil series on top of RE1. But till it, till it stands today, RE1 is single-handedly the greatest RE game. Like, the controls of RE1, the mechanics, the gameplay, like, the, the level design is so way ahead of any RE game I've ever played, including 4. It's so way ahead. So, so way ahead. Soggy's is in my opinion the best RE's either 2 Remake or 7. Okay, trust me bro, you gotta play 1. It's it, it it's a little like jarring for new people to play one because like they are not used to the fixed camera. And that's why a lot of people say RE2 remake is the best, right? Because they like the quality of life experience that they get where you know they get to like um turn the camera around and stuff. But uh trust me man, like RE1 hands down like they have n i don't know why they have never replicated the winning formula it's like um okay to be fair i think like re0 tried to replicate it like if you play re0 you feel a lot like you're playing re1 but it doesn't feel as good as re1 man bro i really thought like re1 was like some mcdonald's happy meal game you know I thought it was like it had nothing. I thought like, hey man, the zombies are gonna be crappier, the gameplay is gonna be shorter, you know, they're not gonna have their shit together. Like, what is so good about RE1? It's like RE1, okay, let me explain metaphorically what RE1 really is to the entire franchise. Resident Evil 1 is the equivalent of uncut pure cocaine. Pure of the purest cocaina ever. And when you trickle down to RE2, RE3, RE4, they water down that shit with baking soda and flour, right? 
RE1 is the purest and purest form of cocaine. Cocaine. When you play RE1, the sensations you experience in terms of like a gameplay rewarding experience and in terms of a horror and scare factor is rarely topped in any game, man. I would say like RE7 comes really close to like uh, I think RE7 probably tops RE1 in terms of like horror and scare factor but RE1 stands heads and shoulders above all the Red Resident Evil games what the fuck what's wrong with that boy technically I can shoot him from here oh shit damn Okay, wait, I'll catch up with chat a little bit, but I gotta fight these boys. Damn, he's coming in hot! Oh my god, there's two of them. Ooh, two for the price of one, baby. I got this feeling There is something I must confess Ain't nothing wrong With a little bump and grind Facts, Fox Uh, Michelle says, yeah, so true The gameplay comes first, then graphics, and then story <coughs> Sineke says, I love Silent Hill But I did it did scare me. I, I don't really have a lot of opinion about Sky, uh, Silent Hill because I gotta replay it to refresh my memory. But, you know. Yeah, try it, Doritos. You can play uh, Resident Evil 1 on most consoles. You can play it on PS4. You can play it on Nintendo Switch. Okay, let me just say, like, Resident Evil 1 is so good that it is the only Resident Evil game that I am considering playing again. Like, very soon. Probably off stream on my Nintendo Switch. It's so good that I want to play it again on my, like without having to stream it and just like play it on my bed and like with the knowledge of what I know about the game, it's still so engaging, right? So here's the thing. Whenever you got, get done beating a game and I'm talking about any kind of game, usually you're pretty over it. You're like, man, I'm done. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I don't, I don't need to be playing this shit right now. Like, but. RE1 is one of those few games I've ever experienced where I think about the game, even though I beat it. It's like the journey of the game was so much more satisfying than the end. I mean, the end was pretty tight, right? I really liked the ending of RE1. But the journey of RE1 was so much fucking fun, man. It is the best survival horror game I've ever, ever played. Nothing even comes close. And it's like... You know, it's, it's like what I said about cocaine, right? Like, uh, you only get the purest form of it, like, in the purest of pure. And that's what RE1 is. And everything passed down it is a little watered down. Hey, what's up, Dragonfly? Okay, let me give you an example, right? Did you guys know that whenever you kill zombies in, like, a Resident Evil 1, killing them is a bad idea not only because you run out of ammo, more importantly, killing zombies in RE1 requires you to burn their corpse once you're done killing them. Because once they're dead and you leave them in that room, there is an invisible timer that starts ticking, right? And when you come back into that room, that zombie will reanimate and he will become even more ferocious. He will actually transform and he's, he will have claws. He will start to have fangs. He will start to have like, like, you know, like wolf eyes. He starts to look more like a wolfman. You know what I'm saying? So people complaining about RE8 and RE8 having wolfmen. You guys obviously never played RE1. RE1 had wolfmans, right? And um, they would like run extremely fast and you don't have time to react. So when you kill zombies in RE1, you gotta think, if I kill them, I gotta have enough kerosene to burn their corpse. And kerosene is actually like, kerosene is a resource in the game and you have to top up your kerosene into a fuel canteen bottle, right? And kerosene gas tanks are like, you know, you only can find so much of them. 
So it's such an amazing game. And like the tension I feel in Resident Evil 1 is like unmatched. Like the tension I feel in this game was really high when I played it as a kid. But now in hindsight, when I play 1 and I played this, this is some watered down shit. And it's okay because I, I still love RE4. Yeah, with baking soda. Dragon says, how about RE4 Fifty Shades of Brown Simulator so far? Yes, I will still make fun of it. It's pretty good. I mean, it's still it's still good for it's you know for a, a Resident Evil game because you know I don't think there's a lot of other franchises out there that can even come close or compare. Okay, I'm getting Vietnam flashbacks. I think there was like a dog in here. You can kind of see him before he shows up. I think he's around the corner. Okay, let's just take it easy. I see another medallion, so I think let's try shoot it. Nice. Nah, so I think the door should be locked. I don't think they'll let you go through. I see we still haven't found the idiot child yet. <laughs> Damn. Oh wait, I can open this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my god. Okay, uh so here's the thing. I like I would like to circle around the house first to see if I can find some items. I don't think there's a save area around here. Like the next save area is over here. See, this is the other mistake I feel RE4 does in in which it actually shows you where is the next save room. And like, if you play RE1, they don't fucking do that, bruh. If you don't find a save room, that's on you. Here, yeah, doggy doggy. Here, yeah, little doggy. Okay, they got a side room over here. I think it's locked, but... Oh, shit. There might be a dog around the corner. Oh, fuck. Damn! I was quick! I was quick with it! Hey, you thought, bro. You thought. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. Bitch. Got you. Got you as you're lighting that dynamite. Huh? Oh, shit. It's a puzzle. The juvenile annoyance. But she's sexual. Yo, what's up, Helix? That's a terrorist zombie. He he was like Ella who was snack bar. Hey, <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, bro. I'm just playing. It's a joke. It's a joke, guys. I'm I'm not see I'm not serious about the that. So don't please don't ban me, Twitch. I'm a really good person. Three family insignias of the dead ringers. Ooh. Okay, wait a minute. Um, I think I want to go outside to the graves to see the, the 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 insignias again because like. I think I gotta memorize this insignias. Ooh, you can hear Leon panning. Damn, computer boy, you love this game? Tight. Twins must be buried under this grave. This insignia is a little different. Maybe they're different from all the graves. So they got the M. Um, I'm trying to find like really strange insignia. So they got S, M, <laughs> S, M. What it do, computer boy? Is this your first time on the channel? How's it going, man? Where are you from, bro? S M. Is that it? V. Oh, we. Is that a V? Wait. I thought there was an M, but this is a V. So you got S M V. Yo. All right. Let's try the puzzle again. So, I mean, graphically wise and mood wise, I understand why a lot of people say RE4 is their favorite because before playing RE1, RE4 was my favorite, right? And I still hold a very special place in my heart for RE4, but hands down, RE1 is that pure cocaine. Every, every other game other than that is like watered down. Trust me, V4 violence. <laughs> You're from Arizona, cool. How'd I do, man? Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Alright, so... 
Turn the dial how many increments? I guess we go by three. Okay, we got the V. So it's the M, V, and the S, right? Then we go four, I guess. And then we go three. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four. Oh, if it goes over the thing again, that it, it, it turns, it turns, um, off. So what if he went with three? Okay, that's the same thing. Oh, do we have to light up absolutely everything? I think we have to. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, almost there. Damn, we only got one more. Shit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Maybe? Or one, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Maybe go four. This is it, right? Come on. Or do I have to just get the right insignias? I think we gotta get the right insignias. I thought it was all of them. Shayat. Uh, uh, that don't work. Okay, fine. Three family insignias of the dead ringers. All right. So, I, in my opinion, I think the three insignias is the M, the V, and the S on top. Right? Or the Z, if you will. So Z and V. Okay, so let's try three. Let's go four. And let's go four. Let's try one, two, three, four. Let's try try three again. Okay, let's try four. And then go back to shit. I can go three. Now I gotta only like click this thing, but I it's like if I click three I would overshoot. Or I would like hit that. Oh we started back from the bottom. <laughs> now we here. Damn. Okay, let's go four and then we're gonna go four. Uh, and then we go to go three. So I think I'm kind of like three, four, three. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm too dumb for this puzzle, bro. Actually, I gotta believe in myself. I'm super smart. See, we gotta... Okay, wait. Uh, Four. See, we got the M, right? So, let's go... Three, and then four. Oh, wait, four. Okay, let's touch the V. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we got all the, the lights up, right? Now we gotta turn off the lights on like the three on the left. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, I gotta kind of calculate it that in my mind. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Fuck. Okay, we might have to turn off the Z. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh. Shit, I think we might have to go four. See, I gotta go four to turn off the other ones. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, do I go three? One, two, three, then one, two, three. Shit, this is like very, very, very tricky. I want to turn off that one first, that the one on the top left. 
How do I turn that off? One, two, three. One, two. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's go by three. Okay, let's go by another three, I guess. Let's go four, I guess. Okay, let's go three. One, two, three, one. Ah, oh, shit. To turn off that one, I gotta like stand on this one or this one. Shit. Shit, I, I'm stuck in a loop. Yeah, to turn that off, I gotta like do this one. Ah, oh, no. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna try again. Ah, three sit in sickness of the family dead ringer. You know, I can probably solve this on Google way easier, but I think it, trying it this out is way more fun. It's deceptively easy, but because like, you know, I'm always left with one, but it's, it's not, you know? One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three. Shit, we're stuck going back to like ground zero. I just need this one to light up, I think. Let's try three. Oh, I got it. Okay, wait. We got one more, but fuck. How do we do this? One, two, three, four. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Boom. I'm a genius. Puzzle God confirmed. Okay, so like we got a cat's eye, right? Can we like use it to combine with another thing? Thank you, Michelle. Okay, wait. Can we? I think we can combine this with something. I think we probably can. Oh, the elegant mask. Ah, it's not. Oh, maybe the mug. Oh, it is the mug. Yeah, we got one out of three. Okay, so puzzle done. I guess we can go back inside the house. Um, there are some medallions outside here. I guess. Oh wait, there's a medallion at the back of this uh thing too. I think there's like some. It's somewhere up here. Oh, there it is. So glad you didn't look it up. Damn, Fox. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna try to look it up. If if the puzzle is boring, I will probably look it up. Dragonfly, Leon. Why is this thing glowing? Hmm, probably not important. Unlocks game over months later due to radiation poisoning. Damn. Got him. My boy is like. I think like all video gaming characters have radiation poisoning because. They are like special. They they can like freaking like not die after getting bit and shot multiple times. I think this one is locked, right? It won't budge. It gotta be locked from the other side. Is the church also locked? I can't tell. See, there's actually a ink there's actually a typewriter over here. Right? I, I don't know. I, I know I'm supposed to go inside the church, but I think I like to go on the bridge and make my way to that typewriter because I think that's a good idea. Because I did a, a bunch of things, but I think there might be dogs. Oh, fuck. I did, is, she, is she not going to let me go? Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah, sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her, hurry! I don't wanna, I wanna go. Uh, 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 I see a crazy lady! You need to save her. I mean, I got to, but I wanna go save. My safety is more important. Damn, you crazy girl. Oh shit. Salad. 
Ooh, shit. You see her do a side step? Oh, what the fuck? There are more of them? Oh, shit. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Ah! Wins for the stereo! Don't take my car stereo! Yo, where the fuck did this? Oh, they can jump across bridges. Damn! Oh, shit! No, 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 no. That hurts, that hurts. Oh, no, fuck. I think I might die. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh shit, 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 shit. Okay, okay, okay. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Fuck, why did I take so much damage? Oh, no, no, no. I gotta use my herbs. Fuck. That was a bad choice, man, fighting on that bridge. Come on, pull up. Oh, come on. He's running back. Little pussy. Damn, okay. Nice, Sue. Shit. But the game will become stealthy because you're gonna play as Ashley. I mean, you only play her for a very brief moment, I guess. Why can't I never knife these things, man? I thought I could. In the original RE4, I think I could, but I think they fucked with the, the thing. Damn. This is quite a long shot. Nah, so. Alright, let's see what's inside. Oh, wait, there was one here too. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> there was one bullet. Nice. Hey, what's up, uh, Eagle? What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Welcome. How's it going, man? Ooh, there's a ladder here. Closer of the church. Regarding two fugitives, the apprehension of Luis is our top priority. The American agent a distant second. What Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world would become a totally different place than what Lord Sadler has envisioned. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we sh are not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent does not get to her, I have locked the church door where the girl is being held. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approved by Lord Sadler. There is a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the Del Lago has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It'll be just a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there'll be nobody else left that will be come looking for the girl. Damn. Michelle says stealthy Resident Evil game would be interesting though. It would be. Eagle says uh, I'm the and am I'm thinking about replaying a Resident Evil, but I haven't decided which. Maybe seven. Have you played all of them? Like, what's your favorite one though? Oh, this could be a snake. Oh shit, dude! I totally sh fucking stabbed it. That was kind of bullshit, bro. I totally stabbed it. Okay, fine, whatever. Oh, 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 I guess you could use the brown chicken egg to like... Damn. Either two or four. I ex I played all except three. Did you... You don't... Like, why didn't you pick one? One is the greatest Resident Evil of all time. Did you play one? Okay, he coming in hot. Agar... Ah, 
Oh no, I wanted his items. Shit. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Is this, this the boss fight? Okay, I don't think so. Oh shit. I remember this place, bruh. What the fuck? Oh, they got a bunch of crows there. I bet you there are gonna be a lots of items. Okay, wait a minute. Do I have a grenade? Fuck, I only have a flash. It might still work, I guess. Ooh, it works. Okay. I kind of got like my um, like flash grenade back. This is some OG shit right here. You know I'm OG as fuck because I know for a fact that if you like kill the crows like that, I remember doing it as a kid. Damn, this is how you know I'm OG. I gotta arrange my shit perfect. Perfect. <sighs> Angel says, yeah, I beat it. You're right, I should play one. One is the greatest Resident Evil of all time. But, you know, it's your, it's your choice. But, you know, there's only one right answer. <laughs> what the fuck? I really ran through a lot of my handgun ammo. You said poor snake wasn't doing anything and you heard it. He was hiding in a box, bro. I didn't know he was gonna be in there. He was like trying to stealth assassinate your boy. Oh, they got ammo in here. Fuck. Can you please not? Can you like please not make sounds like that? I'm scared. Fuck. Is there any- Oh, there's another handgun. Woo! They're really generous over here. That, that's what makes me scared. You know, when they give you like lots of supplies, you're like, yeah, I know what's happening. Fuck, please. Not right now, I need to save. Dragon sees my goodness, these crows were mobsters or something with all that money. You know it. You know it. Angel says, are you excited for Village? You still haven't seen the trailer. Okay, don't watch the trailer. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't ruin your experience. I'm excited for it and I'm not watching the trailer either. Don't do it. Please don't do it. If you want your enjoyment for the game to be like extra extra sexual, don't watch the trailer. Trust me. Fuck. I think the merchant and the, the save is like down below. Yeah, don't not watch it. You're not not watching at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, I'm just saying, right? Like, I mean, everyone is excited for it. And it's very tempting to find out what happens, but it's better not to watch it because, you know, it's better to find out in the game. If you if you know what to expect in the game, you wouldn't be shocked or you wouldn't be surprised. You like to watch the trailer with your eye closed for extra sexual. <laughs> Yo, my boy is here. My boy here. Ooh! Ooh! Can I take that? Nah, he gonna he ain't gonna let me take that, bro. It's his wares. But let me make that safe real quick. What are you buying? What are you selling? <laughs> Come back anytime. Okay, before you talk to him, is there something down here? Damn, it's like so peaceful and shit. It's like a little bit like a pirate's cove, you know? I guess like that makes sense because he looks and sounds a little bit like a pirate. Oh wait. Ooh, there's a box behind here. Cool. 1,000 pesos. Is that all, stranger? 
No enough cash. Strange. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Damn, there's enough weapons here to start a small war. How the fuck did he, this guy get all this shit here, bro? Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Oh, he got some rare things. Welcome to Pirate Age Lot Mart. Yo, this guy, yo, like, you guys missed the earlier part of the stream, right? But I showed everyone in chat that a video of Leon, the voice actor, actually being the voice actor of Merchant. Leon is the same voice actor as the Merchant. How crazy is that? Oh, cool. We got a specialized gun. Don't worry about money. This one's on the house. Really? What are you buying? What are you buying? Ooh, I like that. I like these. But I don't have enough space. Fuck. I barely have enough space, bro. Holy crap. I guess I'm not really gonna use the TMP very much, so I think I should sell the TMP to the my TMP ammo. Okay, to be fair, I think like what is really taking up a lot of my space is like my food. I got like a bunch of fishes and shit. Because your boy be really careful. You never knew that, Angel. Yo, go to YouTube and look for Leon voice acting the merchant. And there's actually a live recording video that he does the merchant voice and he does it so good. Leon has a clone in RE4, the merchant. <laughs> the merchant is actually Leon from the year 2069. He came back to help himself clear RE4. Yo, maybe, man. Yo, that was actually a pretty like good twist. I like that. I like that. Like, the merchant is actually Leon from the future to help himself. And his voice got so fucked up because he smoked so much crack that he was like, yeah, man. Damn, you, that was a, that's a good one. I'm gonna steal that theory. I'm gonna steal that there, son. Okay, so... <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I wanna arrange my stuff a little better because like... I don't know which gun is better, to be honest. Do you guys have an, any opinions about the guns? Okay, wait. I got two guns, right? I got this gun from shooting the medallions. I got it for free. And I got... This is my starting gun, but I don't know which gun is better. The Punisher, this 9mm handgun will blast a hole through two enemies. Is, isn't this a clear winner? Oh my god, they will actually let you discard weapons. That is so scary. What if you accidentally discard a weapon? If you look closely at the merchant's eye, it looks like Leon. No, it, it's... If you look at the merchant's eyes, it actually glows red. That means the merchant actually has the Las Plagas virus inside of him. <laughs> Alright, let me chill. So if you examine this, the firepower is 1.2. Firing speed is 0 0.47. Okay, so 1.2, 0 0.47. 1.1, 0 0.47. The reload speed is 1.7, capacity is 10. Reload speed is 1.73, capacity 13. So actually my current gun is like statistically better because I did upgrade it. Yeah, the reload, everything is better in my current gun. I think like I gotta consider upgrading this gun before it actually becomes good. Hey, what's up snowman? I haven't seen you in like 50 years, bro. What it do, my boy? Talk to me, man. How's it going, sir? Okay, so I'm thinking... I guess I want to put the guns together, but... I guess I might have to make a decision to sell either... Like, I gotta sell one pretty soon. You got school, bro. School is for pussies. Now nah, I'm just playing, bro. Like, uh, how is school? Damn. I wonder if you can buy more ammo or I don't think he'll let you buy ammo. No room curses. Why didn't I wear cargo pants? Exactly. And also why isn't the merchant allowing you to like um you know buy more space? 
What are you buying? What are you buying? Oh, you can't upgrade the firepower. Why? And like the other like uh like upgrades are kind of expensive. Yo, what's up, Eagle? No, you see he has ammo, but wait, he does? What are you buying? I don't think he has ammo. Oh, you mean like in his, in front of his shop, he looks like he has ammo, but what like he doesn't buying? sell it. He sounds so pervy, bro. Like, what are you buying? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's increase the capacity for my shotgun, because if I increase the capacity, I can like keep more bullets inside the gun itself. Is then I can have more space. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so since it's more upgraded, I guess I can keep more bullets inside of it. You got a lot of classes. Exam is frustrating. Well, it doesn't last forever, bro. So, you know, sooner or later, you will actually miss going to school. Trust me. The merchant will enjoy Ashley with his pervy voice. I don't think he's actually pervy. I think he's just a businessman, man. You gotta respect the boys entrepreneurship you know what i'm saying he's the most entrepreneurial guy in the world he caters to only one man leon damn keep that herb okay um so i want to move like the gun like next to each other honestly i wish i could keep both guns that would be great but the firepower for this is trash. Can anyone can can anyone confirm like if later on I can upgrade this gun? You miss school already? Damn, Eagle. You crazy, bro. Okay, let me see. Can I upgrade Punisher RE4? Richard, you have good stuff. It feels adult entertainment, bro. Nobody here wants to watch adult entertainment because, you know, zombies are everywhere. Oh, shit. Whoa, apparently if you shoot all 15 medallions, you get it for free and the firepower will be upgraded to level 2. Whoa, okay. So a lot of people are actually saying I should sell the original handgun. Okay. But, you know, the Punisher isn't exactly the best gun compared to the uh, Red 9. So this, this gun is not the best gun in the game, but a lot of people are saying that it's a better gun than the original gun because of its ability to shoot through one enemy you know like you, you can shoot through one guy and he goes to the other guy behind him damn damn they even call it the same thing in Japanese bro PANISHA <laughs> it's a funny like Japanese people oh this is PANISHA this is Boryoku teki means violence in Japanese. Shit. Damn, you're a pervert, Michelle. Curb your, curb your shit, bruh. Curb your shit. Should I sell my original gun? Fuck, I don't know what to do. Shit, people, some other people are also saying that... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I, like... I might have, like, wasted money upgrading the shotgun because, like... The shotgun is pretty cool, but it's not that cool. Like, apparently there's another weapon called the Striker. Okay, let me see. Okay, so somebody wrote Punisher has weak power, the piercing isn't really worth it. 
You want to always use shotgun for crowd control rather than handgun, but I think the gun really shines in wagon level. Basic handgun unstable critical shot is fun. Although it doesn't come up often, most of the time you will be surrounded by enemies, so sometimes you'll get difficult to get targeting their head when they are pressing around you. If you intend to play for fun, I vote basic handgun. Wow. So piercing through wooden shields, that's pretty much the only thing the Punisher is good for. Unless you can convince groups of Ganados to kindly line up for your shots. Other than that, it's virtually identical to your regular handgun, except its upgrades are more expensive for no reason. Aiming and recoil with the Blacktail works the same in, as in the other two guns you mentioned. You must be confusing it with the Red 9. Anyway, if you're good with headshots, the base handgun is a very good choice, and it's also the cheapest to upgrade. So you save some pestas for other weapons. A fully upgraded handgun costs 1,998,000 and a blacktail costs 362. The really shitty part is like, I don't have a, I don't have a stash to store my stuff. Hello cattle, aka Oats Curry. Wait, what you talking about? I'm not perverse. I'm like pure. I'm like the purest person. I'm like the equivalent of Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. Yo, quick question guys. Are you guys fans of Avatar The Last Airbender cartoon? If you were a bender, what element would you choose? So there's like fire, water, earth, and air. What element would you choose? Tell me. Oh, this is the purest pervert I've ever met. I'm super pure, bro. I treat women with respect. I treat women, all women. All women are always right. There's like so many fucking handguns that actually appear. Um, Shit. I'm actually thinking of selling this gun. I don't know. Because honestly, it, it is more expensive to upgrade this gun compared with my regular handgun. The only benefit it has is its ability to pierce through enemies. And it can pierce through like enemies with shields, right? So eventually, you'll encounter enemies that will walk to you with shields. And this is able to pierce the shield. Um, but other than that, it's it doesn't have like the critical ability as the first one. So this gun has a better crit. crit. Level 69, respect. Do we need Ashley to meet the merchant? Nah, it ain't gonna happen. I'm protecting my wife until she is of legal age. <laughs> I'm just playing. You left the evidence against yourself on your YouTube channel? I did. Wait, what? I did not. It's all Twitch acting. I was not serious. I was actually just being entertaining. Okay, let me just Google this one more time. Regular handgun versus Punisher. Okay, wait, let me see. Um, actually, I'm reading the RE forums. Uh, people say, like, okay, someone wrote, uh, you, you will be able to update the Punisher. I like the default handgun better. It looks cooler and I don't want to sell it. Plus, I spent all the money upgrading it. I just just keeping them both because currently there's no need for more item space. I'm fine. I'm running fine on item space, so I just keep both. Okay. Uh. So apparently the Punisher is 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 you could upgrade its um power, which is important. Okay, someone wrote, trust me, later on you'll run out of space if you buy the necessary weapons. Shotgun for CQC, sniper for the tentacle enemies, and the TMG for bosses. What I did was sell the Punisher and buy the Red 9. You can sell the Punisher with upgrades if you tune it up before the Red 9 is available for the same price as the Tech 9 with the same upgrades. Okay, someone else wrote, I got the Punisher, held on to it for one merchant, and then sold it. I tend to use my regular handgun more, plus I got somewhere like 15,000 for a gun that was given to me. I can't really answer if it's better because I never used it. I assume that it's, it is a better gun because how much it's worth. It, it'll probably be a more effective than the handgun. It may be slightly weaker, but remember these bullets will hit two enemies instead of one. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, I, I don't know, man. They, they, everyone unanimously agree that, like, there is a handgun that we'll get later in the game called the Red 9. And it's, like, way, way better than anything. You will opt for the Sate. Or to stay. Wait, Sate? Uh, I guess I could reload, because if I reload, I can... I can get the gun later, you know? And I don't have to waste space in my inventory. Okay, I'ma just reload, because I did save before I actually talked to the merchant. So instead of buying it from him from, for free, I guess I'll just... You know... Okay, wait a minute, I think he got an item behind him, I forgot. 1,500 pesos. That's a lot, actually. That's way more than I got last time, I think. So I should probably save before I talk to him again. Okay, let's save one more time. Sati, because you can shoot two at the same time. Damn, you're right. You're right. Damn. Okay, before I buy stuff from him, maybe I should use my pistol until I have no more bullets. Because I still have about 13 shots inside this gun. Yo, what's up, Dark Castle Lee? Castle Lee? Good luck. Thank you, man. Yo, welcome. Yo, uh, does anyone know if the Punisher pistol is better than the regular handgun? Or is the handgun better than the regular pistol? Because I still don't know which is the best one. Can anyone help me with this? Because if, if I can distinctively know that one handgun is better, I will sell uh, one of them and I'll keep the other one. Uh, oh, the weapon is also more stable than the handgun. It exclusively like, gives the capability to shoot through five targets, making it even better at holding up hordes at, of Gonados. If you plan on not upgrading the handgun, take the time to get the Punisher will be worth it as the free upgraded one is stronger and has the piercing perk. Do this anyway if you plan on using the other handguns as they won't be available until later. Make money selling the two early guns. Damn. I might I might work with the Punisher, bro. I don't know. What do you guys think? Original handgun best one until max for beginner better punisher. Ooh. Dragon says I drop all the guns and I just headbutt your enemy into submission is foolproof. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh can you like elaborate on that? Uh Dark? Oh sorry guys, the sound is a little loud. I, I kinda forgot about that. Let me adjust it. My bad. Sorry guys. Cause I actually like um adjusted the sound earlier so you guys can hear the YouTube but the game sound is actually quite loud so I'm sorry let me adjust it better okay so why would you say the the Punisher is bit better for beginners like what about it is better I mean this they said like it's more stable but does it have less crit because I'm all about the crit right if it does more crit uh, I will be happy about it Okay, there we go. The sound is better, right guys? Original handgun is best. It's just your opinion, okay. But I want to know more, like... Why is the original handgun better? Like, if the original handgun is better, what was the purpose of them giving you the Punisher? Punisher or handgun? Punisher or handgun? Okay, let me just Google. Everyone is saying the handgun. Keep handgun if fully upgraded, like five times shooting a creature head off. Oh, you get a better chance of shooting people's head off with the regular gun. Oh shit. 
Yeah, it, but it, you know, it gets dangerous to shoot their heads once they, the last pluggers are spawning. So actually the regular handgun is a little more unstable compared to the Punisher. Damn, it's so hard. It's like half the people are with the Punisher and half the people are with the original handgun. It's up to you. Yeah, I got you, Dart. Hey, what's up, Drake OVO? Damn, I know what you're talking about, son. Drake OVO. OVO is Drake's brand and like he partnered with Jordan Brand to make a shoe. Michelle says I say original handgun for me. Okay. All right, you guys got a point. I guess... Okay, let me arrange my items real quick before I buy anything. Yo, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys like my content so far, I would really pr appreciate if you hit that follow button. Now show your boy some love. I'd really appreciate that, bro. Uh, okay. So, blasting the head off is a much higher reward for Leon. But, but eventually, shooting their heads is a bad idea because you would be dealing with the, the, the tentacle thing that comes out of it. Drake says, so I got a question. Why even ask if you said you don't like it when they tell you what to do? Wait, I don't understand. Wait, I'm... Wait, so you can't ask questions and have an opinion? Like, here's the thing, I do have an opinion about the gun, but if majority of the people actually thinks or says that a certain gun is better, I might change my opinion. You don't like it when they do. I don't really understand the, the question, Drake. You gotta elaborate on that. You just, you still see a used headbutt, it'll be super effective, damn. A lot of people say the handgun, but like my, I, I want to believe that like the, um, the Punisher is better, but I don't think it's better. Okay, I'm gonna just look at another article, but you know, basically I think I might settle with the, um, I might settle with the uh, handgun. I might just settle with the handgun. Okay, let me see. Handgun is better, 5 chance critical headshots, blast enemy heads off. Okay. Punisher can save ammo when fighting crowds, but it shoots 5 enemy when exclusive. Um. Damn, okay, maybe we were talking about PS2 version with... Blacktail has higher power. It's pretty good handgun when you're running through the game. Punisher is good for speed running, but not really good if you're gonna kill all baddies. Like most noobs do their during their first run, and newbie is 6.5, not the okay. PS2 version. Punisher uses the same ammo and is a lot better. What the hell? The regular handgun is actually one of the best handguns in the game. The Punisher is so so. The handgun is more powerful and has a better exclusive upgrade. That exclusive upgrade has the chance to decapitate a Ganado in one shot and may also kill the plugs that came out of the Ganado's head really quickly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of the Punisher at all. I usually shoot the blue medallions just to get the Punisher to sell it back to the merchant. Wow. Okay, so my instincts actually tell me that I might I might, I, I think I should probably get the Punisher and sell it. Like, you guys are right, actually. Like, uh, the handgun, the regular handgun is actually way better. Uh, fuck. Okay, we gotta, I guess we gotta buy it and resell it back to him. Got some rare. Okay, let's, so we get it for free because we got all the, all the stuff. Fuck, okay, wait. I gotta rearrange my stuff to receive it. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna sell it back to him. It's a little bit of a waste that he has like 10 ammo inside of it, but I think I should sell. Okay, I'm gonna sell back the Punisher. Damn, this gun looks so sexy, man. I don't know if I'm making a mistake selling this gun. Can I- can you guys give me like two more minutes just to like scroll the, the forum a little bit just to make sure that I'm not fucking up? I'm just gonna scroll like two more minutes. Um... However, I see people say he's good because nothing gets in the way of headshots. I think people generally use knife to kill everything though. Wow, someone actually like loves the Punisher. I like using it to stun shield guys for melee hits in castle onwards. Wait, can he shoot further? It doesn't say anything about like uh, its range, but I think the reason why its range is better is because it's more a more stable gun. Possibly we'll go for a leg shot suplex, and if there's a spot where I'd rather kick for a knockback, I don't want the head to pop. Oh. Punisher is easily the worst handgun. Yo, it's like best gun, worst gun, best gun, worst gun. So, Punisher upgraded is good for shooting the legs of shield guys to get a kick prompt. Easy one bullet way to remove shields. Max is a waste of cash, it serves no in game use beyond that purpose and you're carrying a shotgun rifle you can use one of those uh so someone says he's, he's fond of it because the last gun they upgraded usually utility then more damage or have a problem if you notice how much the gun costs is say without mm. okay i it's like the argument for this gun being better is the fact that it pierces stuff. But the argument for it not being as good, it, it does like 5 times less critical. Damn. <laughs> Stonk. Uh, uh, let me stretch. Uh, uh. I don't know man. Where the fuck is Zard? Remember Zard Revo's in chat? That dude is like a professional Resident Evil guy and he always gives me the best advice, man. And like every time I need him in chat for advice to tell me exactly what to do, he's not here. Fuck! Zard, holy shit, you're in chat! <laughs> oh, you were lurking. My bad, bruh. My bad, bruh. Bruh, tell me. Tell me, please tell me. Punisher or regular handgun? Please. Please, man. I'm just a regular Resident Evil player. I'm not a god like you. I'm not a god like you. I gotta give it up whenever you, you gotta give it up, right? When your boy is OG, you gotta respect that. I'm gonna put some respect on your name. Yo, tell me, man. What do you think? Should I get the Punisher or should I get the... Should I focus on a regular handgun? My heart and my brain thinks the regular handgun is better. But the problem is like, like this thing has piercing rounds. Uh, it can pierce like the Ganado shield. Um, it doesn't like execute headshots really well though. But eventually headshots will be a problem. Go with the handgun. Don't upgrade until RE9, Red 9, save money. Okay, so I already upgraded my handgun a little bit. I, I went up its power by 1.2. I think I upgraded almost all of all the parts. So all right, I trust you, bro. I'll sell I'll sell the Punisher. Uh, I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> You'll buy it at a high price. Uh, all right, cool. Fifteen thousand. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's all I need, bro. What are you buying? So I sold the Punisher back to my dude. Well, he. Oh, he will sell it back to me for 20,000 pesos. Nah, I'm good. Okay, tune up. Let's see. Yeah, buy Punisher and sell. Got you. Save the money, right? Uh, shotgun? I'm actually thinking of like not upgrading the other 
things and just like keeping it as it is um, just to save money okay does he have anything else man I really could use an attache case increase man you know see I never really got into the TMP I prefer like precision shots but I think TMPs are like really really good against bosses because you can use them to target a specific spot and like really like just go ham on that shit i think tmps are great for bosses man but i don't even know if i have the space especially if i if i want to make it like effective i gotta like buy the stock and the stock will take additional space precision shots is something i prefer too yeah i i, I believe so too man Look at all the fucking ammo he has and he can't sell any ammo. This dude is a bum. Okay, hold up. Before I save one time, I'm gonna just check if I arrange all my items good. So, okay. Let's put this here. Zara says, damn, I was waiting O's to sell Punisher just to message. Don't sell the Punisher. <laughs> Yo! So which is it? I, I gotta save. Damn. Damn. Trying to keep me down, huh? Yeah, I sold it, but really, for real? Are you trying to troll? Uh, okay, let's see. I like arranging my stuff like really nicely. I feel like it it makes you a better, more effective fighter because like whatever you have to deal with, you you're more like okay, you know, I know my shit is like exactly how many bullets, things like that. I think I wonder if I should consume one egg because my health is like not exactly full. Maybe I should wait for it to drop a little more, then I'll eat it. Uh, the music is really good. Let me see how many slots is this? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, because I was actually thinking if I could arrange my rifle towards the side. Quake Oats, put a bucket on Merchant's head and steal his shit. Zar says if you line up headshots all day and you like to keep your flash grenades on you for a rainy day, stick with the handgun Silver Ghost. Oh, they call this a Silver Ghost. Is that what it is? Oh, really? Okay, Silver Ghost. If you enjoy using and abusing every aspect of your environment to take your, down your enemies, shoot those blue medallions and pick up yourself a free punisher if you can't stand the thought of having anything but the highest of firepower for your handgun treat yourself to a red nine yeah i want firepower i want to like blast fools and have their shit explode so by the way how do you abuse the environment with the um, punisher though like how does the punisher help you abuse the environment i don't i don't know how that does like all I know is the Punisher breaks their shield and it, it if you fully upgrade it, it can go through 5 people. But I think the main point is we are not settling on the regular handgun or the Punisher. We are always going to wait till the red knight. Damn. Okay, but I trust you bro. So I think what I'll do is I'll save right now so that you know I'm ready to go. So I'm really going to like not rock the Punisher. See, this is a, this is a, this is, I'm overriding that shit. So there's no way to do it again. Okay, man. So I think according to the map, I'd like to go to the right a little bit. Yeah, the door is locked over there. I think like there's no point in me backtracking here because I don't think the giant bo boss fight will happen really soon. See I remember little pieces of this game because I played it as a kid but I don't remember a lot of other things. RE5 aiming is a little better than RE4, nice. I'm, I'm gonna be playing RE5 after this Zard. What the fuck? I'll be playing RE5 uh, after RE4. I just got the game for like uh, $12. Really cheap. Oh, they got some handgun ammo in here. 
Can we play RE5 together online co-op? We could, if you want. But you gotta take it seriously. I don't want you to like fuck around in the game, man. I wanna like really like try to like, you know. Do you have a PS4, Michelle? We could do it. We could do it co-op if you are down. If you have a PS4 and you have the game and if you're down. You do? Alright, we can do co-op for RE5. But you gotta be cool. Like you gotta- Oh, what the fuck? Okay, you gotta try to like win. Like don't like mess around. Oh, I'm the best. I'm the best. Arcs is because I, when I played RE6, it felt different to me. I was turned off. Yeah, RE6, from what I've heard, wasn't a really good game because of what they did to the to the overall genre. They made it like more like a shooter than a survival horror. Yeah, I got you, Michelle. If you as long as you try to just play serious, that'll be great. You know. This guy is like so fucking unstable. That was sick. He was just standing next to the thing like a fucking idiot. Oh, there's a guy inside. I think he might have like a grenade or something. I think I should try use my rifle. I think it'd be possible to kill him if I blow this thing up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is he gonna throw his fucking axe at me? Oh shit. Motherfucker! Woo! Little bitch! I'm a fucking trained assassin, son! You don't want these hands! Yeah, that's what I thought, huh? Huh? You like that? Huh, little bitch? Yeah, that's what happens. Professional, bro. You can't fuck with this. I guess you can jump down, but can you climb back up? Because there's like a grenade at the side. Holy shit. Professional, bruh. <laughs> Shut up, Zara. Don't try to convince Michelle to play like shit. Play it serious, like for your boy. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck does Agarero mean? mean? Does anyone, can anyone translate that shit? Is he gonna pull up? You bought RE5 today for only $7 off the Xbox store. It's really cheap. Where the fuck is that guy? Oh, whoa, what the fuck? He's coming from the side. Oh, he's a he's an axe thrower. Oh shit! That motherfucker. I got hit. There's like no like sidestep button. Lord Saddler. Okay, fuck. We gotta eat the eggs we caught. I think I can eat the fish. Nasu, full health. Lord Saddler. Look at all the fucking traps, man. Okay, uh, there's some items over here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! What the fuck was that? Where the fuck did it come from? Where the fuck did they come from? Oh shit! What the fuck was that? Okay, crowd control time. You motherfuckers come to the wrong neighborhood, fool. You fucking bitches, huh? Oh 
Oh shit. <sighs> okay, relax. You got this. You got this. Don't waste your ammo. Oh, oh. Motherfucker. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Time to pull out the shoddy. Okay, you wanna play, motherfucker, huh? Oh, I'm the fucking best, bro. I'm like the- I'm like- Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, shit, you fuck! I'm a trained assassin, bro. You can't fucking stop me. Oh, my God. Yo, where the fuck did they all appear from earlier? You guys saw that shit, right? That was like OD, man. Holy fuck, where did- Yo, I, I was like- You guys gotta admit, I'm a very skillful gamer. Like, if Ready Player One, the movie, was a real thing, you won me on your team. You won me on your team, bro. I can fucking play all games. I'm really on that level. I'm really on- Oh shit! There's even more?! How?! Oh, what the fuck? It's like they, they keep appearing when I went inside that house. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh my god! What the fuck? Pull up, pull up, motherfucker. Pull up! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh shit! No, 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 fuck! I'm dead. Okay, oh shit, okay, uh, full, I need a full heal. <sighs> fuck, can I eat all the other supplies? Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Maybe one egg. I didn't realize my my shotgun had didn't have enough bullets. I didn't realize my 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 shotgun didn't have enough bullets. You stupid bitch! Oats being like Oprah, you get a bullet to the face. You get a bullet to the face. Everyone gets a bullet to the face. Yo, I like Oprah. If you look beneath your seats, everyone gets a bullet to the face. Woo! It's like they tend to spawn when I go in here, man. What the hell? That was a fuckload of zombies, Michelle. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the snake tried to bite me, and then he left the chicken egg. There's, like, still zombies in the distance. There is still zombies in the distance. I see them. Okay, uh, let me see if I need to arrange my items. Okay, man. Thank god I actually took the trouble to catch the fish, the fish at the sewer earlier. If <laughs> you're actually eating sewer fish, it's pretty fucked up. But it is what it is, your boy gots to eat. I wonder if I could have utilized the environment and you like let them run towards the, the thing and let them explode. Okay, if I jump down here, can I climb back up? I think it might be possible. Oh, it's really high. Okay, I don't think I can. Okay. So what was that, that I just picked up? I think I picked up a grenade. So I got one flash, I got one regular grenade. See, I, I thought it- yeah, there's a guy over there, right there. There's one here and there's one here. 
I wonder if I can bait this guy towards me. Un forastero! Oh, I seem to only have aggro one guy. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I think I probably can bait this guy to come here, right? That's stupid, mother. Fuck, there's a guy. The scary part is I don't know if he has friends, like... Oh. Oh, he has a sickle. Oh fuck, it's so hard to see them in the water. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was beautiful. This gun is so sick, man. And he dropped the hand grenade. That's tight. Oh, fuck. I'm so stressed out. We just fought a whole horde of zombies and there's still more. Like, yeah, blasted that head off. I think that's the beauty of the regular handgun. Even though it doesn't have the piercing capabilities of the Punisher, that shit mad critical, man. Bro. Like, this place is so fucking creepy already, man. I deadass don't want even want to try Village. <laughs> I'm probably gonna play it, but you know. You know, probably not day one. Oh, there's a secret over here. I think it's probably underneath this thing. Damn. Okay, let's see. Uh, so we're looking pretty good on the grenades department. Remember like there was a point I got like six to seven grenades and I wasn't using them and they, were, they kept giving me more and they were like, hey, have another one. Grenades are actually pretty tight. I think they like really help you save a lot on ammo. So according to the treasure map I have, I think there's an item like nearby. Yeah, there's an item around it, but I think I want to get it from the other side. I don't want to blast this thing off just yet. Oh my god, there's like traps everywhere. Can I jump down here? I- Oh, there's a snake. If you kill a snake, I think they usually drop an egg. Fuck, the sound they make when they evaporate into like thin air, it's like so scary. I think there's like a special item somewhere here. The Last of Us got inspired by those traps, really? I don't think the- I think like in general, it's not that hard to make traps like that. Oh wait, is there a thing? Oh wait, there's a nest on top here. Ooh, what is that? You got an antique pipe. Okay, so how do I get out of here? I guess I gotta cross underneath. Oh, can I go up here? Okay, cool. So I think I got the treasure from this map. Oh my god, the next save is kind of close, but not close enough. It's right here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go down. Okay, let me check the map again. Okay, the next hidden treasure is over here. I bought a treasure map for 3,000 pesos. So that's why I can tell. Uh-oh. They might... Is that someone? Oh, it is a guy. You see his head? You see it said at the top left corner of the screen? Un 
Okay. So the trick I usually do is I create space between me and the, the zombies. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Oh fuck. Nice suit. You saw that, right, Dart? That shit funny, man. He was just chilling. He was vibing inside that house. Whew, this guy, this game is mad creepy, bro. Okay, it could be a snake. Careful. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. The snake is still here. Okay, the snake gives you, like, uh, eggs. I prefer shooting them, like, than using the knife because there's a chance that they can, like, still bite you. Ooh, they're so generous with the handgun ammo. It's like every time you pass through a certain, like, place, they, like, refill you. Like, hey, here, have another ammo. You must be running low, you know? When I play, like, the other Resident Evil games, I don't get that. Oh, there's a difference. There's, like, a white egg and a brown egg. Is there a difference? Chicken egg restores health by a small degree, but the brown egg probably gives you more health. Partial health. So it, it's like brown eggs are healthier for you in real life. Why did the snake drop the chicken egg? I think it ate the egg and it was inside its body. And then, you know, it didn't digest it yet, so we're eating it next. <laughs> this is kind of fucked up. Oh, what the fuck? It's another itch. Oh, he's traveling really fast. Oh my god. Oh shit. God damn it. God damn it, man. Bitch. Damn, give me that egg. This is like, you know, it doesn't heal a lot, but they all add up, you know? Fuck, that door looks ominous as shit. I think there's another snake there. Yeah, I'd rather trade bullets for like uh, healing items. So I guess like all of them are like white eggs. Damn, I got like a surplus of them. Okay, I guess I'll put the brown eggs here. They look better. And then I put the white egg right here. It's crazy amount of eggs, right? Is you get to get them from like shooting those stupid snacks. Okay, so according to the map, this will lead me into like quite a narrow tunnel. But there's a save room here. But I don't think it's gonna be very easy. I think they're gonna like throw something at you. Oh, it's not a tunnel, it's like a isn't this like boulder country? Like they will probably roll some fucking boulder on you. Ayayada! <laughs> okay, interestingly enough, there's two paths. One goes right, one goes left. The left path might have something, so I'm gonna go check it out, but it might be a trap. Okay. Oh, it is the lake. Oh, I remember this place. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's the other police officer. Does the fish fuck them up? 
Can you leave Ashley behind? I don't think you can. That's not the mission. Damn. Leon must enjoy his freedom before he meets Ashley. Yeah, you right. Ashley is kind of a pain in the ass, you know? Like... Ooh, is that a red herb? Wait, what? 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 Damn! I, I kind of saw it because I, I didn't think that they would leave like an item there. Okay, combine it. Damn, I'm good. I'm so good at this game, bro. Salamander time. Um... I might okay so if I after I go save which is really close by I'm I, I gotta go for a quick bathroom break and I also gotta like put out some food for Kaya my cat Leon is kind of an e-boy he does look like an e-boy not gonna lie he does look like an e-boy yeah Dude, I don't I don't know what's up with the e-boys man like most of them are like attractive i get that but like their only talent is like lip syncing to songs that they don't even write like what the fuck it's like so fucking cringe cringe like if you even if you're an e-boy you look that good like why not like play the guitar play the piano do something uh oh there might be some guys here they might have come back oh there's a nest over here Ooh, what is this? Ooh, it's a gold bangle with pearls. It looks pretty expensive. Okay, there's a house over here, but is there anyone inside? I think we're good. What I'm scared is sometimes if I go inside this thing, like, like enemies will start come running. Okay, very nice. I like. The fuck is that sound? Ooh, it's a yellow herb. Oh, yellow herbs increase your overall health. Okay, wait, do I want to combine it with something? Yeah, I want to combine it with something because like, um, you know, you can't eat it as is. You got to combine it with the green herb. So if I combine it with this, we get the red, green and yellow. Looks like quite pretty. I like it. It's like a test tube. Okay, wait. Arrange this properly. I'm pretty solid, man. Look at my inventory. You know, the thing that I kind of regret not using more often is my rifle. I think I should use my rifle more because I, I, I am piling up bullets and I'm not really using them. Fuck, okay. There might be someone here. What the fuck is up with the- Why is there a fish jumping all over the place? Oh, there's a boat. Oh, we got another green herb. Damn it, man. Damn. Um, I could have combined it with the yellow herb. Jesus, I'm so stupid. Ah, uh, fuck, okay. Uh, I literally have like, like no more space in my inventory. Yeah, I don't have much space left. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Alright, cool. So, let's make a safe. And, you know, I'm gonna go, you know, grab some water and I'm gonna feed my cat. So, you guys gotta give me two minutes. I'll be back. So, in the meantime, you know, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack, go for a bathroom break yourself, and I'll be back with more badass RE4 content, right? If you guys are new to the channel, you know, hit that follow button. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in a hot minute. We're back. Thank you for waiting, guys. So, hey, thank you, Zart. 
By the way, Zart, thank you so much. And also, like, uh, everyone in chat, Dragon, Michelle, Helix, uh, thank you for lurking. Like, sometimes I really don't know you guys are in chat. Like, I really, you know, if, whenever someone doesn't talk in chat, I just assume that they might not be there. Thank you, Michelle. Ah shit. Ah shit. Fuck. Uh. Oh, this is about to get nasty, bro. Shit about to get nasty as fuck. Oh, wait, my weapon changed. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, you can do this. Bitch. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, motherfucker. Okay, how do you... Oh, you gotta... Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, he coming. He coming, bro. He hungry. That body he just ate didn't fill him up. Is he a, is he a gator? I think he looks like a gator. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. That's my anchor? Why did it drop? Howdy, Uter. That lago? Is that what it's called? Oh. Oh, we got hooked onto it. Damn! It's like... It looks like a salamander. Yeah, you guys are right. Oh shit! Oh no, what the fuck? Was I supposed to avoid that? No, 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 no! Oh fuck, holy shit! Oh no! Damn, he for real, son. Where he at? Yeah, how you like that? Oh shit, my health isn't- Oh! Dude, how the fuck could I have avoided him? Oh no, I'm swimming like further away. No, 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 Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Okay, I'm the best, I'm the best. Don't you ever forget it. Oh no. Oh! Oh, you gotta steer the boat away from him. So you, you not only gotta kill him, you gotta like try to like steer the boat away from his his shit. Oh okay, there's narrowly escaped that. Okay, fuck, fuck, go, go, go! No no. Okay, go left. Uh oh 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 shit! Oh shit! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, oh shit! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, 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 no! Press faster and harder. Nice try. Thank you, Dark. Bring him in alive. We need a new pet. How the fuck are we gonna feed him, Dragon? He eats humans. He just ate the first guy they fed him and he wasn't full. He just, he wanted another one. And this thing is nasty as fuck. Let me explain why. Because like, when those two, two other Ganados were on the boat, he didn't fuck with them. He knew they were coming to give him food. But when we got on the boat, like, he broke the code. We were supposed to be friends. Like, as long as I have the boat, we're supposed to be cool. But he wasn't. He was a dirty cheater. Oh, well. <laughs> Woo! Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I, I dodged that shit. That's like half my health. Mm. 
Bitch, die. Uh. Oh. Shit, come on, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 you're really far away from our boat. Ah! Okay, you got it, you got it, got it. Can I heal? Okay, uh, okay, let's not heal yet. Fuck, where this fool at? Come on, pull out, pull out, pull, pull the thing out. Fuck. Oh no. Shit. Oh shit. I'm dead. I'm dead. Just not fair, bro. Like, as he's approaching me, what am I supposed to do? I'm like, literally throwing the thing at him. Rest in peace. The monster just had an oats protein bar. Bad lizard. Yo, Sin. Yo, what the fuck, right? I'm like, throwing at him. Okay, I think we gotta be more efficient in our throws. Like, each time, I think I can stab him in the ass like three times, maybe. If I'm really, really efficient. But that was like, not cool, bro. Damn. Oh! Oh, I fell into him. I, ra I ran into him. I didn't know which side he was coming from. Oh my god. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I struggle a lot with this, pa this part. You gotta hit him before he touches you, I guess. Oh, narrowly miss. Come on. Oh, 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 that was too close. Okay, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. Fuck, where is he going? Oh, that was too close. Oh no. Oh fuck, not again. Shit, okay. 
Why do I not remember this fight? Because your brain wants you to forget it. Boom, bitch! Boom, bitch! We know what's gonna be gonna have for dinner tonight. Fish. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, bro, that's cheating, bro. We just killed you. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to let me win. Oh, shh, shh, cut it, 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 cut it. <sighs> GG easy, first try. I've never li died in this game, Zard. Never. Zero deaths. Move over, Nessie. This leg monster is gonna be the hottest new tourist trap. All kids under 10 get free harpoons, but he dead. They ain't gonna be no more lizard, cause we are good players. Fuck, I think I, I think he's getting sick from the last Plagas virus. Yeah, I'm gonna relax him. Now I'm gonna wake up and be one of them boys. Numbers of time kill? I never click continue, ever. I never click continue ever. At what point did I really die? Whatever, how much just safe? Oh. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba. oh cutscene. Ooh, is someone gonna look after me? Ada Wong, maybe? Damn, Leon is like, not gonna lie, he's kind of handsome. No homo. Leon's eyes haven't turned to the Las Plagas. Ew, he got Las Plagas sperm all inside him. Jesus, look at that. Was that real or was that almost 30 saves? The same amount you save on RE1. You right. I felt more stressful stress in RE1. And I was playing it on hard, remember? Remember? I remember. What up, girl? Look at how expressionless their eyes are. I am afraid. Hi. Hi, guys. Look at how expressionless they look. What point did I really game over? Selective amnesia? No, but I reloaded. I never continued. Can't say. But I'm alright now. I'm gonna continue my mission. Damn, my health don't look too good. Um, I guess I can eat all the eggs I got. Kojima shaking his head with that code call. <laughs> Kojima shaking his head in Japanese. Yeah, full health, that's what I Okay, wait, take this. Oh my god, it's raining outside. I fucking hate it when games rain. Oh my god, I gotta start using my grenades again because like... They really fucking give you grenades as if they are like free candy. It's like everyone gets grenades for free. You love the rain. I hate it in a game. In real life, I love it. Okay. I think we got a note. Anonymous letter. There's an important item hidden in the falls. If you're able to get it, you might be able to get Ashley out of the church. But I'll warn you, the route to the church isn't a walk in the park by any means. They have deployed what's called an El Gigante, so God bless. About what's going on in your body, if I could help you, I would, but unfortunately, it's beyond my power. I wonder if that letter is written by Louise. Man, it's dirty. Rain adds horror and sadness. Yo, you right. Dragon says, Hunnigan, where were you? I already finished the first two seasons of Stranger Things from the last time you called. Yeah. Man, Hunnigan is pretty. I wonder if she actually appeared in like the other RE series or like the RE games. Okay, I think we should save, I guess. I remember from memory that the lake outside actually has a secret entrance to another merchant. We should probably go check him out. 
Okay, we might- we should go check out the other merchant. But I don't know if they'll let me go back by the boat. See? You see in the distance there's like two blue light thingies? Is there like more items here or something? Okay, I think we're good. You see the two blue thingies in the distance? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oats love him some RE waifus. Yeah, I do, man. What's your favorite RE waifu, though? What's everyone's favorite RE waifu or husband, though? Yeah, this is a merchant. Damn, this guy's got the sickest, like... I wonder if the merchant is the same or is it like a different guy every time? 1,200 pesos. Jill or Rebecca? You gotta pick one, you can't pick two. Damn, what's with the creepy ass music? Do you guys hear that? There's this like... There's this like very echoey sound. Probably go with Jill. Dragon says, LOL, I just realized Stranger Things would be considered a true live docuseries in the RE universe. It would be. Quite a collection he's got here. Where did he get all this ar artillery? Welcome! Got some rare oh, he doesn't say welcome. Sale, Ashley, because she's under it. Dude, that's not cool, Michelle. You can't do that. What are you buying? Bro, he don't have another attache case. I need, like, more space. What are you buying? Oh, my handgun can be upgraded some more. Uh, well, it's 10,000 pesos. I don't think I want to upgrade my handgun anymore. I, I upgraded it once, but I'm going to leave it as is. The liquor better than any wife would. Jesus. The liquor would bite your dick off, bro. Before you can enjoy it. Zazar knows what's up. Bro, how the fuck did they create a liquor? I've always been curious about that, right? Like, you know, a lot of like the Resident Evil like mon monsters can be explained by like, ah, oh, you know, it's the virus, but how does the liquor have exposed brains? Like, it doesn't have any skin. Its teeth are like predator fang-like. It has claws, but its overall anatomy kind of still reminds you of a human being. Like, dead ass. How the fuck did they come up with that shit? It's fucking crazy, right? I'm very interested. Like, if you look at like something like a hunter, I guess you can say they, they, they probably spliced the DNA of a frog person with like something else and then yo, you get a hunter, right? But how about a liquor? How did you make his brains exposed? <laughs> liquor is made from McDonald's Sprite. <laughs> Damn, Frosty. What's up, Frosty? Welcome to the stream. Damn, McDonald's Sprite, huh? I like McDonald's Sprite. She tastes pretty good. Damn, I fucking hate the rain. So loud, you know. It's like... Yeah. Oats attaching logic to RE anatomy. But at some... I mean, to make your world more believable, you gotta kind of like explain certain things, right? Like, you gotta explain like, you know... It, it's gotta be like somewhat believable. Otherwise, it's gonna be like too goofy. And also, what was the purpose of a liquor? Continuity? Yeah. But what's the purpose of a liquor? Like, I guess it's probably the same as a tyrant. It's used as a biological weapon. Oh, fuck. I remember this when I was a kid. I'll be walking through like a whole fucking setup like of these guys. Shit. Oh, fuck. His eyes is glowing red. His recovery is like way quicker. Oh, oh, oh. Shh. 
shit. Jesus! He does not want to die. What the fuck? We got 5,000 pesos. Yo, that dude dropped 5,000 pesos. We should go back and save. That was like a RNG drop. Damn. I think like... Um, when that thing like pops up, there is a specific gland at the side of it that I think if you shoot it, it might, it will just probably explode. By the way guys, if you guys are new to the channel, you enjoy my content so far, I'd appreciate it. show my boy some love, hit that follow button. Um, I'm a, my name is Oats, you know, I'm a variety gaming streamer. I've been doing this for about, about three years and uh, I play everything. Everything. Dark Souls, Resident Evil, Animal Crossing, you know. Fucking hell, man. Ooh, you can jump across, I remember. Remember how, like, fucking Billy and Chris Redfield can't do this? Is there any bad guys? Okay. Oh fuck, they even have thunder. And lightning. Uh oh, they have a rope that goes down, but I- Is this a one-way trip? I don't see anyone here. I think they only appear like when you go down. Okay, wait, did I reload my shotgun? I think my shotgun is not fully reloaded yet. Chick chick, motherfucker. Huh? Okay, maybe we can snipe someone with this. There's nobody here yet. Okay, let's equip back the um, pistol. Okay, climb down. Oh shit, once we climb down, I don't know if there's a way back up. Oh, I think there is, right? Oh, you can climb up, okay, that's good, that's good. Just in case, right? Just in case we need to like... Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, okay, he has an item, can I grab it? Take it. 1,000 pesos. Okay, rifle ammo. Okay, we got a bunch of rifle ammo. We should start using our rifle ammo. Uh, okay, let me reload real quick. Is that torch held by some guy or is it like burning on its own? RE logic, check your exits. Always, always, any game you gotta always check your exits. <sighs> okay. Bro, I don't see anyone else. I wanna like put this rifle to work, but they won't they ain't gonna give me a chance. And like you know, like if you are standing still, it's like always best to carry a handgun. Can I fuck with this thing? No, I can't. Um. Oh. Oh, I think I might be able to shoot this thing. And it'll float away, I guess. Ooh. First time, Koi. Oh, no, it's not exactly first time. I played this when I was a kid. But... I... Ooh, what is that shiny thing? I forgot about like a lot of things about this game, you know? I mean, obviously I still get Vietnam flashbacks for certain things, but like, you know. Damn, I'm good. 
How's it going, Dokoi? That was a really nice emote you drew. And you really inspired me to like probably try pick up Procreate on the iPad. But the the pencil isn't cheap though. Ooh, you can jump over. Is any bad guys gonna show up if you jump over? Okay, I guess you can shoot this thing. Oh fuck. I think you can shoot that. Nice. Yo, we good? This game is your favorite. Have you played RE1? RE1 is the best. Sadly, though, don't question my logic. All the villagers head must be stuffed with the local currency. Local currency? Like money? You have an iPad Pro created some must and I can make things three times as fast. Yeah, I like to paint while I'm on the bed. And that is something I've never done. Because like... You know, I, you know, my entire career as an illustrator, artist, I've sat in a computer and drawn. And it's like, kind of bad for your back. Uh oh, I don't have enough space. Uh, shit. I guess I can combine green and green, but it's not worth it. Okay, I guess like, what I'll do is I'll get rid of one of the eggs and then I'll like... I don't know, man. I'll just eat it. Can I combine it? Oh, I can't. Can I equip it? Oh, shit. You can throw eggs at people. I didn't know that. Yeah, I have too many eggs. This game has your favorite enemy. Okay. And eyes. Eyes? Have you played RE1, though, Koi? Okay, let's equip the pistol. Egg time. Nah, I'm not- I don't really know what to do with the egg. Like, you throw it at some guy, like, how's that gonna help? But it, it's a pretty cool thing that they allow you to kind of do it, though. Okay, here we go. I really like the golden egg. The golden egg heals all your health, but I like keeping it as a good luck charm, you know? Yeah, I'm really too full on items. I'm, I'm like, hoping I get a red herb so I can combine. It's not great for the eyes, the computer got you. Villagers are allergic to eggs, says who. Oh, wait. There's a thing. Oh, it's like a ring. Give me that. You got amber ring. I guess we can sell that to like the merchant later. It's like so noisy. Can I go through the waterfall? The current is too strong. There seems to be a path on the other side. Oh, we gotta like stop the water, right? You wanted to mention the regenerators are your favorite in the Resident Evil, but yeah, I never did RE1 HD. Okay, trust me, Koi. If you did RE1 HD, it is hands down the best Resident Evil game of all time. It's not even close. To, like, I thought RE1 was a happy meal, three hours, easy going game where, you know, there's there ain't gonna be much. Resident Evil 1 is so good that it's like pure uncut cocaine and every Resident Evil after, after it is more like a diluted version. That's how good it is. It's so good. It's unbelievably good. And RE4 was my favorite. Uh oh. If I turn this on, a bunch of people finna come out, right? Egg in the face would piss them off. Yeah, I don't want to piss them off some more, you know? I'm just trying to get out of here, save the president's daughter. Daughter. Oh, where's that? What the hell? Oh, it diverted the 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 waterfall. But people are finna come out, right? Yeah bruh. If 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 okay, if like if people are coming coming out of that thing, I'm gonna like run back here and like camp out here and like fucking slice up some dudes. We gotta at least see what the eggs do, really? Okay, I, I will. If I got like, you know, extras. Fuck. 
It's too awfully quiet. No way they're gonna just let me go through without like having a fight. Uh oh. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it. Are they able to climb up? Uh, 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 uh. Oh shit, that really hurts. Oh, you can like deflect their, their thing. Okay, wait, can I throw a grenade? Okay, I think I might be able to throw a grenade down. Uh, I think let's go for... The... I think flash should be good, and then once I flash them, I will uh, shotgun them. Okay, once I flash them, pull out the shoddy, crowd control them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's trying, he's trying. Okay, can I grenade them? Because I'm trying to clear some inventory space, if you guys kind of already tell. Lord Saddler! Stupid bitch. Can't stop me. Can I give you some advice for flash grenades? Yo, tell me, tell me. Like... Because flash grenades at the moment don't feel very useful for me because they, they are not something that does a lot of damage. But I guess they are good for crowd control. Okay, I gotta heal up, man. I, I still took some serious damage from the... um, Like one of that guy's like throwing thing. They're mainly for killing birds and plagas immediately. Really? Okay, plagas is like... That thing when they have that that that's that thing on their head, right? When their head explodes. The wormies. Is is the plagas considered like okay, so if like even for dogs, really? Oh that is so useful. Fuck, I shouldn't have used it. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so what if like someone's head explodes and then they have that thing come out? Does it work for that thing? Didn't want to shout at you. No, it's it's really nice that you asked me first, though. It works on those guys? Really? I could... Oh my god, really? You only use eggs? <laughs> Damn. Man, I didn't know that. Shit. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel very intuitive, right? For like something like that to kind of like have an effect. You know what I mean? It's like... It just feels like the eggs are like, just, I'm not eggs, the flashbangs are just flashbangs. You told me flash was for later, got you, my bad bro. I didn't know exactly what it was for, I thought it was just for crowd control, I never thought it was used for the Las Plagas. Fish. Alright, fine, I'll save the flash grenades, but, you know, I, I honestly, like, I need to, like, I, I don't have, I don't, I mean, later I think the TMP is going to be very useful, but I don't have the space for a TMP. You can also slap the zombies with a fish, yeah, right? Because Plagas is photosensitive life form. <gasps> oh, I didn't know that. They didn't write that shit anywhere. Use most of your flashes on bosses. Really? Can you do that? Oh my god. Wait, does the flash work on bosses? Because bosses are made out of the plagas, right? So they would have like worms like popping all over their shit. Oh. You RPG the bosses and make the game really easy. <laughs> shit. Fuck, I'm scared to touch this, bro. If I touch this, like a fucking boulder comes out. You got the round insignia. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Hannigan. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Look at how what stoned his face is. He's like high beyond his mind. Priority. 
fuck, they play the lightning just in time when you... Okay, let me check the map just in case I missed out any hidden treasure. Okay, I did find the treasure here, right? You see that? Um... Interesting, there seems to be some kind of tunnel that leads back towards the save room. Hanukkah. <laughs> You use it to stun them and get free hits in. Oh, I thought the flashbang actually like, you know, like actually does damage towards the bosses. The fuck is that stupid? Check the map. Oh, it's like a series of tunnels. What the fuck? Fuck out of here, bitch. Fuck out of here. They haven't changed this aspect about like uh Resident Evil yet, about the like fucking bats and like birds and shit. This is how the fucking Rona got started. Is it gonna be like non-stop? Shit, how many have I killed so far? You haven't beat the game yet, maybe the flashes can do that, maybe. Is it like never ending? And now we can have some goddamn peace and quiet. Stupid goddamn fucking... What is that? Gold? Ain't nothing here. Oh man, I don't want to get back on the boat. Can they not? Fuck. Okay, we gotta get on the boat. Oh, he's driving on his own. I'm not even doing anything. Oh, would you mind reading a prior message? Yo, did I miss anything? Oh, my bad. By the way, the news for RE4 Remake is Capcom will be taking over internally. Wait, so are you saying that initially RE4 Remake wasn't even made in, like, in studio? Like, did they outsource it to someone else? I always thought, like, the remakes were done internally. But you, now that you, I mean, you just said that they are, like, taking over. RE2 Remake Studio is taking over. So, okay, so, RE3 was outsourced. RE3 wasn't that bad. I mean, it was kind of short, you know, they did remove certain things from the OG. Um, I didn't complain about it too much because I thought that the stuff that they remove, uh, you know, were stuff that in the OG was kind of like padding, you know, because I don't have a problem with like shorter games. I just want a game to be tighter. RE3 Studio was doing RE4, but didn't line up with the Capcom vision. Yeah, they should never give RE4 to... um. An outsourcing company. They should make it in studio. Star? You mean Star Syndicate? And also, there's a lot of things in RE4 like that they have to retranslate into, you know, a modern, like, a look and modern... Oh, this is the merchant's place. Ooh, Okay. Does he have something new to sell? Too many people crying about RE3 Remake being short. Just play it on hard mode than normal mode. Yeah, I played it on hard mode. My playthrough is actually on YouTube. You guys can catch my playthrough. I played that fucking shit on hard. And it was challenging. You don't know how PC shooting Ganados is? Damn, that would be a little too easy, right? I think I'm, I'm very like excited to see like what they do for... The animation, because if you look at like something like an RE2 remake, Got a selection of good things on sale, it's right? it's like, um, it, the animation in RE2 and RE3 remake is so realistic. Like the way they walk, you know, and they added like a variety to the different kind of zombies. Because like, when you look at the zombies in RE2, there's like, every zombie in the police station felt different. And even though they do repeat zombies occasionally, uh, there's like a fat zombie, there's like a skinny Asian zombie, there's like a woman zombie, there was a zombie wearing- Like, there's like so much variety and each of them like walks differently. And I like that. And I think like, 
if they do a good job with RE4 Remake with the Ganados, that game can be dead ass really, really good. It can be like one of the best games ever. But it really depends, bro. RE4 OG zombies have dodges too. Yeah. Like, like there was one time I want to shoot a guy and he literally ducked. Like, because <laughs> that was smart. What are you buying? What are you selling? Come back anytime. I don't think he has anything new for me. I'd like to have the TMP, but I don't have space in my inventory right now. What are you selling? I'm really considering selling the rifle because like I like using the rifle, but man, they better port the voices. I don't know if the voices would sound great ported because like they didn't port it the voices from RE2 though. Right? They re-recorded it fresh with a fresh guy and even with RE3. I don't think it would be smart for them to port it. Because you guys, you guys gotta remember that a lot of times when they recorded voices back in the day for PS1, they purposely shortened the lines a lot. Because even the file size of a sound like a voice takes up space in the CD. That's why like sometimes dialogue is very clunky in the OG PS1 because it's hard to write dialogue when a lot of it is like condensed and cut out. And not to mention, you know, there is a compression that is applied to it. So I guess it would be possible to pour over the original voices, but they have to get they have to have the original files, which I think they might have, but a lot of companies have a tendency of losing old files. And Square Enix is definitely one of them. Did you guys know that Square Enix completely lost the master copy of Final Fantasy IX? Like Final Fantasy IX, I think 8 and 9 if I'm not mistaken. Eight, they lost the original master copy of 8 and 9. Square Enix as a company had to rely on emulator modders to help them recreate the game to resell it on like next generation consoles. They lost the original masters. Companies sometimes are like that. So there's no telling if Capcom has the original voice files. I think they should have, but there's a chance they could have lost it. And not only that, right? If they do port over the voices to the new remake, they have to pay the old artists, uh, you know, kind of like a royalty fee. Um, I don't know what's their deal with the artists, but I wouldn't actually mind a fresh recording of like everyone in this game as long as like they try their best to try to acquire the original voice actors. I think it would be great, you know, and with our modern like recording technology, their voices are going to be extra crispy, right? They have like a couple of takes, they can retry the voices over and over again, you know, and even if they can't find like the, the original actors, I think they can try find someone who does the merchant voice really close. Slim Frosty says, how do you hit headshots in RE1? It is all random, Frosty. Uh, you you only can target the, the zombies, but you can't really choose to headshot them. It's all, even in, even in RE4, even if you headshot a zombie, you can't blow his head off. It depends also on your difficulty setting. If you're playing an easier setting, you have more chances of headshotting them. Koi says, yeah, but RE2 Leon is so generic. Lots of characters in this one. Maybe Ashley can be replaced. I don't think the fans would be happy if they replaced her. I think like what they could do to, to improve Ashley is just make her less annoying. You know, she doesn't yell as much like, Leon, Leon, Lee, like just not make her do that. Just make her a little cool. And also like overall improve her AI. So as she's following you, she, she isn't doing some dumb shit. You prefer a fresh recording, Michelle? Yeah, me too. I mean, like, think about it, right? If you want to play the OG with the original voices, they're still there. But I think if they're remaking it in which they're, you know, of course they're going to like update the character model of Leon. I want to hear a real voice, you know? You know, what do you think about the actor who did RE2 remake? 
R E two Leon is so generic. I I thought he was like more. He had more personality than the original. I don't know. Okay, I don't need to sell anything right now. Okay, so I got like lots of ammo right here. See, the thing is, I don't really use my rifle a whole lot. But I think rifles are important for later because I remember like years ago, like I, I did use the rifle against like some monks in the castle later on. Frosty says you haven't played RE4 enough, uh, but I don't understand how Ashley is annoying. Well, she is annoying because she is extra baggage. She adds an additional challenge to what you're doing because you have to also protect her, but not a lot of people like it. Because like while they are busy fighting and enjoying the game, she sometimes get carried away from the Ganado by the Ganados. So not everyone is into that, but personally I'm a little indifferent, you know? I, I guess I'll make my conclusion once I, I reach there, but I think I, right now we're gonna fight a boss fight. I think the dog might help us because we actually helped the dog, but I hope he's okay. Oh fuck, why, why do we have crates here? Bro, do I have enough space for this? I got three fucking herbs. Oh, they got more ammo here. Oh fuck. Yeah, they're gonna trap me in here with them. Rapido, rapido. It's the it's the ogre from Lord of the Rings, right? Bierda. Damn, it is the it is the ogre from Lord of the Rings. Leon has five different voice actors. Damn. I hate that about Japanese people, there's no continuity. Oh man. <laughs> Shit. Mierda! Whoa, why can I not somersault in real life? Oh shit, can I hide in here? Oh, they got shit in here. Oh, we got items here. Oh shit, he completely demolished that one. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, oh, that really fucking hurts. Uh, okay, we got an, a red hurt. Can I combine it with this? Okay, cool. Uh, my health is really low, so let's eat the fish. And maybe... Okay, let's not eat the egg, but... Man, music is like really terrifying. Uh-oh, is the dog gonna come? Oh, it's a wolf! Okay, it's gonna distract it. I hope he doesn't hurt the dog, though. Oh, what the fuck? He pulled out a, tr a tree. Oh, shit. Leave that dog alone, motherfucker. Okay, uh, maybe I should pull out the rifle. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh my god, my health! Uh, fuck. Okay, I gotta heal. I, I, I need like a full heal, so I think I'll go for this. This one will increase my overall health too, I think. Okay, do I equip the shoddy? Oh, 
Oh fuck, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, he's still on to me, man. Oh shit, fuck, I thought I could run through his legs. Oh my god, okay, I have no health. I need a full heal. Ooh, do we have items here? Oh, I shot him in the neck. Oh shit, we gotta reload. Oh, they got a yellow herb there. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh. Oh shit, no, no, no. Okay, wait, there's a yellow herb here. Oh shit. Is he taking that, that rock again? I can't see him. Leave the dog alone, bitch. Oh fuck, it's trying to fuck the dog. Reload. Oh fuck. Uh, here we go. I gotta hold on longer until like he... Until he get- Oh, what the fuck? He's swinging the thing. Oh! Oh fuck, that really hurts. Oh fuck, okay, I gotta- Should I heal? Should I heal? Oh my god, okay, uh, yellow and green will increase my overall health too. Combine with this. Use. Okay, that didn't- That- That didn't cure all, but I got some eggs. Okay, I, I won't use it yet. Oh fuck. Why isn't the dog distracting him? Go distract him, dog. Oh fuck. Oh shit, he's charging. Oh, he's going for the dog. Reload. Oh shit, he grabbed me! How the fuck did he grab me? Oh shit. Is he still on to me? Fuck. Doggy, go distract him, doggy. We need to survive. I need to fight him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, I, I'm out of rifle bullets, so we should start using like, um... Pistol. Okay, my health is really bad, so let's eat two eggs. Okay, one is fine, actually. Uh, oh. Oh! Fuck. He 
you just grab a tree? Oh, I dodge, I dodge, just in time. Oh, fuck. Come on, doggy. Reload. <sighs> oh, shit, he's charging. Oh fuck. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Is the dog, dog distracting him? Yeah, the handgun ammo does shit jack shit to him, man. Okay, switch to the shoddy, switch to the shoddy. The shoddy should be only used for the, that fucking thing. Got him. Woo! How is RE4 for you? It's fucking fun. It's fun. It's fun. Shit, but we wasted like so much like health. Wait, this is an MGS. How are you? How are you, De Devlin? Damn. Yeah, I didn't want to flash him, Slim. The save is too far behind. No, we our save is okay. Ooh, trophy urn. A rock in a hard place. What is this? Gold. Damn, he gave us 15,000 pesos. Where's the doggy? Can I see how like Oh, I think the doggy ran away. Okay, let's switch back to the pistol. Um, yeah, that was pretty solid. I think uh, what I really wanted was to use up as many um, rifle ammo as I can because like I felt that I had like a surplus of rifle ammo. I honestly didn't know like what like the rifles. Um, but the shitty part now is like I don't have rifle ammo, you know. <laughs> Earlier I had too much and now it's like I don't have enough of it. That fight was, wasn't actually that hard, it was like more like an endurance test. Like all you gotta do is like just stay as far away from him as possible, um, shoot him while you can, just run away, make sure you duck the tree. Do you already know the super life saving techs? Uh, a little bit, but I prefer to find them on my own, Gran. Yeah, I prefer to find them on my own, but I, I appreciate you just, you trying to help me, but yeah, I think I'm fine. But thank you, though. Okay, so let's see, where do we, where should we go right now? So I could go back to the save behind and do it. I think we should go back and save. That was a decent fight, you know, I kept a lot more of my handgun ammo and also my shotgun ammo. I'm just gonna look around to see if they still have additional items, I don't think they do. But yeah, we good. What is interesting is like, who the hell is opening up the gate whenever I beat the guy? Wouldn't they want to trap me? I don't know if you can shoot this thing. I don't think you can, right? Okay, whatever. Okay, so does this guy have anything else new for sale? Let me double check. Is he... got a selection of... Okay, I don't buying? think he got new shit for sale, man, but the TMP is pretty useful, I guess, but I don't know if I have the space. It's Ashley that controls the gator. <laughs> yeah, right. Man, a rocket launcher would be super sick. Okay, let's make a save. I got lots of gold right now. I can like... I'm saving up my um, my gold for better weapons. Damn, right, here we go. 
there was a pretty decent boss fight. You know, honestly, I felt like I could take a whole lot less damage. Um, you know, the only thing that I'm happy about is like I did use up, you know, a lot of excess rifle ammo. Uh oh. Uh oh, I think they're probably gonna repopulate this area with zombies. 800 pesos. Okay, wait, where does this go to again? I think this leads you back to the church, right? Yeah, but it's like a it's like a rickety bridge or something. Oh, I got Vietnam flashbacks. So I played this when I was a kid, right? I remember them being dogs. Fuck, is there someone in the house? Gotta be extra careful. Oh, you got fresh boxes here. Ooh, nice. Handgun ammo. They're like so generous with handgun ammo, bro. Look at that. I think the game has like a system that automatically detects like, oh, you probably need some more ammo, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I bet you there's going to be a dog here. I remember this. You Look at that. Fuck. Dude, <laughs> run over the dogs. Yo, I don't know if you can do that. Uh, I might have to pull out the shoddy, bro. Because they don't go down easy with one shot. Okay, I, I might need the shotgun. You can? Wait, what? Really, Gran? Yo, Gran, you know you're breaking the rules right now by backseating. I don't want to have to ban you, bro. Just be cool. I thought you would reload the safe on the boss fight to save more ammo. I did use the rifle ammo. That's the... The dogs don't seem to be interested. Oh, shit. Fuck. Grant, I might have to ban you right now, bro. I think I gave you your fair warning, but it doesn't seem like you, you care about backseating, so I'm gonna just ban you, bro. I try, I really try to be nice. I really, really try to be nice. Okay, how's my health? Uh, my health is okay. I think I can eat like one more egg, I guess. Okay, let's switch back to the pistol. I think we should be fine now. Okay, I think we can open the main church door. Let's just try to get in. Kind of want to get out of the rain. Fuck, you can't climb up. Woo! Will they let me save inside? I don't think they'll, they'll give you a typewriter. Finally, out of the rain. Oh, it's a puzzle. Look at that. <laughs> bye bye freedom yeah i know you know it you can still hear the the thunder from outside mm. okay i'm gonna go to the right side oh 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 there could be someone here fuck i forgot flash grenade cool okay so i'm gonna try to save my flash grenades for sure See, here's the thing is, right? I'm actually thinking of selling my rifle with the scope. 
I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think the rifle is actually a good weapon to keep? Whoa, I, I actually get more scared during the more quiet moments when you can hear your footsteps. Ginter says, does it autosave? Uh, no, I it, you have to save by typewriter. And uh, welcome, my boy. Do you have any treasure here? Maybe like some shiny thing stuck on the... Ooh, look at that. They got the colors. I got a treasure map, but I don't think the treasure map actually indicates there is a, a, a treasure here. Okay. Whoa, the sound design in this game is good. Ashley's gotta be here somewhere. There's gotta be a way to open this. You finish RE4 with the other sniper rifle, got you. So I probably should sell this. Nice too. Look at this creepy ass dude, man. Is that Lord Saddler? Okay, before I press any buttons, okay, that I gotta be careful in case of a snake. Not too close. Okay, this one, just be a little further. Okay, I thought there was gonna be a snake. Okay, so I got incendiary grenades. I think fire grenades is good against the Las Plagas, right? This Holy Spirit is the treasure. Yo, damn. Getting all religious, huh? Yo, Ginter, if you enjoy my content, bro, like, I'd appreciate it if you hit that follow button, bro. I know I always remind you guys, but, you know, sometimes pe people legit forget to follow the channel. So, you know, just want to remind you. What is your favorite RE game, Ginter? Ooh, finally a puzzle. Oh, you got to match the colors. Shit. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what I'm looking at. Okay, I think this is the correct one. Red. I don't think it's that hard, actually. Yeah, this is the correct one. And blue is... That looks accurate. Doesn't it? I think it does. Yeah. Combined. First try. Puzzles in RE4 aren't as hard as RE1. Hey, thank you, Gintir. RE3 OG, my fave. Wow. That was easy, right, Zard? My favorite is RE1. Uh, I wouldn't say the OG. I would say the HD remaster because that's the only one I, be I, I beat that one. It's too- it's pretty casual, yeah, it's pretty casual, the puzzle. Aw, oh, fuck, now we gotta deal with, like, Ashley. Why are you playing creepy music? Ashley! Don't come! Hey, take it easy! No! I'm a handsome no! e-boy! Calm your tits, girl! Everything's gonna be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. Damn. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. Fuck. Ah, shit. Trophy earned. Secure the ballistics. Jesus. It's Dave. Leon. I've succeeded in yeah, she got some knockers, bro. Good work, Leon. She got some really huge personalities. Right Where's the extraction point? Bro, why do they always do that? They give you hope like you can just complete the game right now, but it's like too soon. I'm on my way. Ashley's now happy. I ain't happy. Ah, shit. You gotta try to learn how to control her. Ashley Graham, playing Manual 3. So, you can command Ashley with the R1. So, R1 either makes her wait or follow. Ashley and the action button depends on the situation. Leon can cooperate to get past various obstacles. Ashley's health you can use- Oh my god, we gotta use recovery items on her, Jesus! 
Actually, in game over, Leon has failed his mission if Ashley is being killed or carried away by the enemy. Look at that broken English. Do you see that photograph? Do you know what it says in red? It says, shoot to the enemy. Like, the fuck? It's shoot the enemy, bro. It's not shoot to the enemy. But, you know, Japanese English is, oh, they all, at least they try. They can kidnap her, yeah. i seen it before. Like, they, they carry her someplace and it's a mission fail. Oh no. Wait. Shit. Ginter says you think the opening sequence in the OG RE1 probably make up half the game's data, really? It was just like a it was just like a video. It wasn't really much. I don't think it did, right? Because it wasn't legit a cutscene. It was like like the OG RE1 was like people like live action people acting out the scenes. Damn. I really, really, really need a bigger space. Okay. It's really nice they gave her so much extra bullets. Fuck, okay, so I'm gonna check the map to see where the extraction point is. So I'm guessing, oh, we gotta go here. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a shit show because, um, we gotta run back from the cemetery back into the manhole. I mean, the merchant's there. And then we can save here, right? And then we gotta like run up here. And the extraction point is like here, but we all know the extraction is going to fail. I think. Shit. Okay, so usually how I would want it to work is I want to go explore and I want to like Ashy to wait for me somewhere really safe. Like I would like place her in a very, very secure location. Okay, is it possible for me to bring her down? I think it is. Okay, I don't think there's any bad guys here, so let's just call her. Follow me. What the fuck? Do you see her just like kick the door down? Yo, not gonna lie, bro. She she is like really fine. The shitty part is I can't give her a gun. It would be so much better if I could give her like the other pistol, like the Punisher. Wait. Okay, just in case they got some fucking bad guys here. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community what do you want to demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power of course no longer will the united states think they can police the world forever damn he got a pretty sick staff with an eyeball in it the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back no oh shit they gave her the virus also What did you do to her? We just Dude, this guy is fucking tall, man. Gift. A oh, gift. There's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. This guy's English is like really good. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Donations. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. Oh, I shit. Conscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contribution. Special. <laughs> See how you say special? Special. You become my puppets. Oh, fuck. Involuntarily, 
You'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? We can just totally kill this guy right now. Oh, fuck. Okay, where the hell are we? Oh, I saw her panties. She's wearing tidy whities What's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess. We can get out of it. Oh shit. Ginter says you have the PSX ISO for RE3. It's only 230. Damn. Crazy how much gameplay from so little size. I think like the way they they you know they have so much gameplay is that's why there's the fixed camera. You know, the backgrounds are actually static. Damn, Michelle, you creepy, bro. Damn. My hit ratio is going up. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Ah, saving content. Okay, reason why I'm doing this is because I got to pace myself. Um, I know I'm pretty decent with Resident Evil games, but I just want to chill. You know, and you know, today I have streamed so far about 3 hours, 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, I just want to take a break from Resident Evil right now. It's like a 3 hour movie. Like, imagine 3 hours of just like back to back like horror and... Zart says no problem. Thank you, bro. I hope you understand, man. Yeah, man. I mean, I could do something else right now, but I think I kind of want to savor Resident Evil for a little longer, if that makes sense. You know, I don't want to rush through the game. Um, I think I really had an amazing time with RE1 because of, you know, I did it that way, right? I took my time. I didn't rush it. I just really, like, paced myself through the game. And whenever I was really tired, I just stopped playing. Because, the, you know, you guys must understand, as a streamer, there comes a certain point where our energies are so exhaustive. It's like we can't even react, even if I'm scared. There was like a time where I streamed for like nine hours. Uh, I think it was another game. I think it was like Fallout New Vegas. And then there was a jump scare, right? And I actually got shocked by the jump scare. I actually like, I, I jumped in my seat and I, I felt like that, but I couldn't react because I was so exhausted. So I enjoyed it a little less. So I think that's how I want to go with RE4. So I think the best way I enjoy RE4 is to try like play three to four hours, you know, if I can push it five to six. But whenever I attack it fresh, I, I do better in terms of my performance as a, you know, as a professional gamer. And also like I can react better, right? I don't, I'm not so exhausted to be like, you know, I just jump in my seat and I don't say a thing. Yo, thank you, Ginter. Appreciate it, man. Um, I don't know if I'm ending the stream right now. I just want to say, um, you know, if you guys are new to the channel, I would appreciate if you hit that follow button. But I'm going to stop the recording for RE4 for today. So if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, this is part two. If you miss out part one, uh, part one is available in a playlist. And, um, you know, if you guys are, un are unaware of my YouTube channel, it's Oatscurry TV. Uh, you can find all my previous VODs or, um, you know, streams that, you know, you missed and you want to catch up. So there's like streams I played like Resident Evil 7, played Resident Evil 0. Uh, you can catch them all over there. You love old jump scares. Damn, Siki. Yeah, that's why I kind of had to stop it because I'll get adrenaline fatigue. So this is actually what happened, uh, I think about like uh, two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago when I was playing Resident Evil 1. Uh, I streamed part one, the first, like the starting, right? Five hours. The second day I did eight hours straight. So I did 13 hours in the span of two days. By the next day, my adrenaline fatigue was in completely empty because it was my first playthrough. And, you know, I took a, I took a two days break, two day break. And I don't think that's good. I know I, I want to like stream consistently for you guys. So yeah. 
But as you guys can see, I, I bought a lot of Resident Evil games. So the ones I haven't played yet is Revelations 1 and 2, 5 and 6. So 5, hopefully we're going to do a co-op with Michelle. It's going to be pretty hype. Uh, Michelle, I need you to have a Discord. And if you are, if you have a Discord, add, like, join my community so you can DM me. So when we go live, uh, do you have a microphone? Because it would be great if I can communicate with you. Or, you know, if you don't have a mic, if it's going to be a one side communication, I still need Discord for that. So if I Discord connect to voice to you, you, at least you can hear what I'm saying, right? And there's no like stream delay. Yeah. So if you have a mic, they'll be great. So, you know, in that way, um, we can like, uh, communicate. But we're gonna make some ground rules. You can't be like, you can't be a sleaze bag in the mic. You can't talk like sexual shit and stuff. In chat, when you do it occasionally, I kind of laugh at it, but in real life, it gets awkward fast. So just be cool. Just be cool. Yeah, man, I had such a great time today. Today was a great day, really streaming RE4. Um, we can play six, like right now. Yeah, but I, I will be playing six. Uh, but you know, obviously, like I will play f finish four first, and then I'll be jumping into five, and then I'll jump into six, and I will be following it up with like, you know, maybe in between we'll play Revelations and Revelations two. But I'm pretty excited. Yeah, BPG thirteen. And Zart says, "Don't spoil the jump scares of RE five. Yeah, so if something's about to happen, it would." be great if you don't mention it if you're like, like hey look out there's something coming Th yeah don't do that yeah i think it'd be great if like you know well what i really just want from a co-op player is like i i prefer a real human being over an ai because ais are all trash right so yeah yeah let oats to trigger it yo i appreciate that zart yeah that's a good point i never thought about that but i think michelle is cool michelle is pretty cool Koi says, as long as I'm a pretty girl. <sighs> do you guys, do you, when you guys look at the Resident Evil 6 logo, doesn't it look like a human sucking off a giraffe? Am I the only one who sees it? So, you, you see the number 6 logo, right? The, the, it looks like a giraffe's head, right? The 6, the, the pointy tip of the, the 6 looks like a giraffe's head. And then he looks like he's pushing his legs forward with his dick. And then like the, the, there's like someone like, you know, like on the right side, like sucking him off. Do you, did you guys see that? I've been, it's been bothering me for the fucking past few days, bro. But I didn't know how to bring it up because like I was trying to be respectful. Michelle, you see it, right? How the fuck did they design this? Maybe it's unintentional. Maybe, maybe it is intentional. Maybe the artist who did this logo was such an OG Resident Evil fan and he hated the game that he was like, yeah, fuck this. I'm just going to like do a fucking disgusting. You can totally see it. So dude, it's not Saxon, Michelle. It's a fucking animal. What the fuck? Yeah, man. Anyway, let's see. Yo, Resident Evil Zero. I had a lot of like fun with the game, but I have a couple of hangups about it. Like, for example, you know, to a certain extent, I didn't mind placing the items on the ground, you know, and coming back later for it. But eventually it got really old, right? Like occasionally, you know, you're picking up a couple of items. It, it's okay. But I don't know why they wouldn't ever implement an item box in Zero. Was it because of the limitations of like what they could do back in the day? Because I don't get it. Like, if they can't do an item box in Resident Evil 2, I don't know why they couldn't do it in Zero. It would have been so much better in terms of a game if you could access your item box. You know? <laughs> Ginter. <laughs> yeah, anyway, guys, do you guys have any other suggestions? Like, what games you would like to see in the future? Personally, I never got around to completing Dead Rising. Dead Rising is a really, like, good game. Right? It's... Dead Rising is a very unique game because you can literally pick up 
every single item in the game, right? It's, it is as punishing as an OG game because there are invisible, I don't think they're invisible, but they are timers. If you don't do things within a certain time, uh, people die, you know, uh, whatever. The boss fights are pretty goofy. I would say Dead Rising also, it is a Capcom game. I think it controls like Resident Evil pretty much. Yeah, man. Anyway, you know, I think we should actually take a look at the PlayStation Store and see if we can look for any more classic games. Because I've been, I've been in a classic kick, man. I really am enjoying all the classic games when I was a kid. Oh, there are games under $27. Okay, I think I have most of them. What a cool, like, logo. Look at that RE4 logo. It's, like, so cool. 5 was kind of, like, pushing it. If I'm not mistaken, I have never played RE5, so I know the main hero is Chris Redfield, but he just got fucking steroided up. Like, he got fucking huge. What was wrong with him? Like, he had his own virus that he was injecting into his ass. And I don't know who the girl is, but she's kind of hot. I don't know what nationality she is. Maybe she's like African? I don't know. Um, her name is she Shika? Shiva, Shiva. And what uh, ethnicity is she? Is she Indian or is she African? Or Spanish? A a Latino? What do you guys think about Skyrim? Like, as me playing Skyrim in, like, a committed way. Because I did commit... I did complete Skyrim, like, a really long time ago, but... I don't know if you guys want to see me play Skyrim. Latino? Cool. Detroit become human. Yeah, we tried that the other day. Damn, these games are all on sale. You never seen gameplay of Skyrim? Well, it's think about it like a very first person open world RPG game. Have you platinum? Oh wait, that's not for me. Gintir says I think you should open large quantities of Pokemon cards on stream. I don't have the money to buy those Pokemon cards. I wish. Yo, doesn't like the this this art over here for Rush Blood, doesn't this look like um fuck what was that OG PS1 game? There was like this PS1 game where uh you can race against your friends. And then like the main mascot is like a killer clown. Fuck, what was that name again? I really like that game. But my brain can't remember it right now. Zart good. Wait, what? Damn. You guys are really like hardcore about Resident Evil. I'm happy that you, you don't. Wait, you're happy that I don't have, I'm not rich? <gasps> Twisted Metal! Yes, Doritos got it right. Cineki Twisted Metal. Yeah, you guys are absolutely right. I, man, I had such a fucking awesome time playing this with other kids. And like, uh, when we go, go to a kid's house, we would have the controller tap. Basically, what it looks like, it, it looks like an L shape. Um, uh, peripheral and you can attach like four players to play together and Twisted Metal was the shit bro we would play Twisted Metal we would play WWF that was when WWE was still called WWF oh my god that was like so fucking fun man I remember I loved to play like Big Show and like um Fuck, did I play as Mysterio? But I, I remember playing Big Show. Oh, I played Undertaker and Big Show a lot in the old WWF games. Damn, man. Those were really good times. And back in the day, that was the cutting edge of video game technology, right? Like prior to PlayStation 1, you know, wrestling games were like, like NES sprite based, like 2D, you know, you go left, you go right. But in like PlayStation, it was like full 3D. And I remember like playing with all my friends in like after school and I would like, I would always go under the cage and take out the fucking um, chair. And then my friends would be like, yo, what the fuck, bro? Oats is cheating again. And I'm like, shut up, bro. You don't know shit. And then like my friends would all like try to pull off the finishers, like the uh, fucking like tombstone undertaker or the, the 
uh, what was the rock's finisher? I think it was like the 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 people's choke or some shit like that. What what was that again? Fuck! What was like the rock's finisher? The people's elbow. Yeah, and then. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yo, I remember. You take the beer cans, you smash that shit. And then you do the Stone Cold Stunner. Oh, man. I think till this day, the Stone Cold Stunner is the greatest wrestling finisher. I can't think of... Well, okay, fine. Mysterio has the 619. I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. No, you're just tired of card opening streams. Rock bottom. Yeah, I never tried it. I don't have the I don't have that expendable money to buy cards and just open them because once you open them, it's over. You know, you can't do anything else with it. Uh yeah, man. So PlayStation 1 was a really special time in my gaming life. And I, I really miss those days. Because, you know. You know, like like say what you want about being an adult, right? Like being a, an adult is so cool, but there is a certain simplicity to being a kid. Right? Like, once you're done with... I mean, the only shitty part about being a kid is, like, going to school and having to do chores and to deal with your parents. But once you're out of school and you're back home or you're at a friend's friend's place, it's all about gaming, you know? I remember, like, I used to go to a school when I was a kid where we all had to wear uniforms, right? So we would all be wearing our school uniforms and we would be, like, sweaty as fuck, right? Because, like, usually when school ends in Malaysia, like, we would get out of school around, like, lunch, two, three. And usually, you know, we might play some sports. We might play some ball, pick up ball, you know, some soccer here and there. And then we would all go to some guy's house, right? And usually the guy's house that we would go to, um, I... It usually is a kid who is a, a like a single parent household, right? His mom would be out working and it would just be us in the house, right? As kids. And we would turn on the fan and it would just be a bunch of like sweaty kids with like uniforms. And we would like all like, like untuck our shirts. We would like take out our ties. And if we would all like lounge around like some dude's house and he would bust out the PlayStation. We would bust out the peripheral with the four controller ports and then we would like fucking fight over what we're gonna play because there was like so many great co-op games back in the day. I think my personal favorite was Fighting Force. I don't think you guys have seen it. Um, it's kind of like a 3D Double Dragon. Uh, but you know, usually we would play like Need for Speed or we would play um, you know, like wrestling WWF or we would play uh, Twisted Metal. So whenever I see like that clown that we saw earlier, like this thing, it kind of like brings me back to that time in my life when we used to do those things. Man, it was like such a great time. The council has very good puzzles, very harder than RE1. Ooh, I like puzzles. Ooh, Armored Core was fucking cool. I loved Armored Core, uh, Ginter. Like, I think, like, my favorite Armored Core was, like, I think it was on PS3 or some shit like that. I got in really deep in it. I, like, I really customized all my parts. Um, Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't mind playing something like the console if, like, the puzzles are tight. And, you know, and I don't have to be fighting for my life. Oh, it's a complete season. It's $8? I don't mind. If you guys recommend this game, I'm, you know. But how do you play it? Whoa, okay, so what's the deal? Like, what, what's this game about? It's a history-driven game. But does it require you to have combat skills? Twisted Metal is on PlayStation 1. Yeah, it is on. it was on PlayStation 1. You've never seen this game, but it looks fun. I don't know. I, I just feel like the the whole gloomy look is like a little bit overplayed. It's, it has pretty decent ratings. It has like 4 out of 5 ratings. It's pretty cheap. It's $8. I might buy it, but... Can I... Maybe if you can watch someone play it a little bit. Is anyone like streaming it? Oh, it looks like really interesting. I think these are all screenshots, but does someone have like a video? Oh, no one has videos. Try the demo. 
nah, I don't want to try the demo. I, I'm not a demo kind of guy. I'm kind of a guy that, like, if I play the game, I'll just play it for real. Um, do you guys want to watch the trailer with me? I'll, I'll pop open YouTube just to see the trailer. If it's good, I'll just buy it right now. It's eight dollars. Damn. Okay, let me pull up my YouTube real quick. Okay. Okay, so should we watch it together? Um, okay, let me convert my stream to ju just chatting stream just in case. Yo, I appreciate you guys hang out with me, man. That That is actually why I, I really absolutely love streaming because it brings back that feeling that I had when I was a kid. Like, you know, you sit on the couch with a bunch of people hanging out with you, you know, playing Resident Evil 4. That's so fucking cool. I love streaming. You know what Capcom needs to reboot? No, tell me. Okay, wait a bit. Uh, The council... Trailer, gameplay. Okay, should we watch it together? Okay, let, let's watch the council trailer together. Uh oh. Okay, it's a twenty eighteen game. Peggy sixteen. Damn. Dearest mother, I came to this rock to find you. The fuck? He's a mummy's boy. Myself surrounded by schemers, the president, the soldier. The Duchess and the Cardinal and those who invited us here. Whoa! But I won't be a pawn in their games. What brought you here? There's combat? What have you left for me to find? Oh shit, that, that's like a really famous painting. This is this is an actual famous painting that they found. Um, I can't remember exactly which country it was. I think it would probably was in France or Italy, and it was painted on a wall. It was like f something freaking creepy. Hey, what's up, Prido? We're checking out trailers. Why do you think she wanted to leave? There's a lot it of voice acting. Possible if you make the right choices. Whoa. It will take all my skill and my silver tongue to solve this mystery. Ooh, I like shit like this. I like puzzles. Oh, I like that. Before it's too late. Ooh, looks pretty cool. They didn't show much of the gameplay, but I think that they purposely do it because uh, they want to like avoid showing you the puzzles. You know what I mean? Hi Perito, hope your day has been good. But right now we are like picking games to buy. So I think I might buy it. I'll I might just buy it right now. Hold up. It's eight dollars. Right? The council. Nice. Okay. The council complete season. 75% off. Original price was $35 and now it's like eight. Well, it's close to nine because it was eight seventy two. Cool, I'm gonna add it to my cart. You've been curious about the council. I don't know. Like, would you guys like to me to see me stream it like pretty soon? Because I'm a little like, like my energy is kind of low right now, so I don't think right now is a good idea. But would you guys like to see me like go between um, you know, the council and like RE four? Oh my god, this game is $57. Yeah, I'm gonna stream it. Michelle, have you played it? Like, the council? Counter Spy full game. <laughs> ACA Neo Geo Count Boot. Damn, this game looks like so OG, man. Yeah, they, like, like I was saying, right? Like, a lot of wrestling games prior to PlayStation look a lot like this. It was like a 2D thing. It still looks really pretty and fun, but it never ever got the same hype I did as a kid when I play WWF on PlayStation, bro. That was like, wow. It really felt like I was in like WrestleMania, you know? Have any of you guys, uh, are you, any of you guys in chat, are you guys like, um, um, 
wrestling fans. Zard says, Damos, don't buy everything I recommend. This is the second time you do that. I did? Well, what was the first game you recommended that I bought? Never curious to see it more than RE now. Jesus. Okay, let, let me let me get this game first. So I gotta switch screens so that like, you know, you guys don't see my payment information. You know? Oh, RE Revelations. Yeah, I mean, I think we might share similar tastes in uh, games art. We like very difficult games that are as challenging. Sinigi says you're a big wrestling fan. Yo, who are you watching right now? Are you still watching? I don't watch anymore, but um, I used to watch a lot back in the day. Um, I used to watch a lot of wrestling back in the Attitude Days. Do you remember the WWF Attitude Days? Man, Attitude. And then they would like occasionally in between the fights they would show like um they would show like a, a, a like a like a what what you call that a TSA or is it called a TSA sorry my bad. what was it called again it was like a special message to kids to not try this at home uh and then they would have like they would show you like all the wrestlers that got like injured they are like like a you know wheelchair. Damn, that was like fucking hardcore, man. I, I really miss that shit. I think like my favorite wrestler back then, uh, before he passed was Eddie Guerrero. I really, really felt that Eddie Guerrero was, in my honest opinion, it's like if he didn't die, he would have been the greatest wrestler of all time. I mean, he is, I, in my opinion. He's like so good at what he, he does. Hey, what's up, Snooze? How's it going? Uh, sorry, I'm gonna just try to catch up with chat. By the way, welcome to the chat, Snooze. Um, Ginter says, did you ever play Ten Pin Alley on PS One? It's a bowling game. Nah, we didn't. I didn't play that one. Like, yeah, it, I we as kids, we didn't have a lot of money to buy, you know, all the games. So, like, we would save our money for the big ones, like Metal Gear, WWF, Twisted Metal. Crash Team Racing, things like that. Zart says, but some of the puzzles requires a bit of reading. Fuck, now you tell me. Zart, now you tell me I gotta read some fucking shit. Fuck, you don't want, I'm committed. I'll just play it. It's only $8, right? And there's like, what, four episodes? So it's like $2 per episode. Whatever, man. I'll, 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 I'll read it. But I gotta, like, okay, so the thing is, if I know the game I'm playing is a game I gotta read a lot, at least, like, my mind is kind of, like, ready for that. So, the, like, the day before I stream, I'm like, all right, tomorrow you gotta read a whole bunch of shit, right? And you gotta make it interesting. So, yeah, I'm okay. Still worth a play. Yeah, you're right. For $8? Come on, man. That, that's cool. What's up, Snooze? Where are you from, man? And how did you find my stream? We, we were playing Resident Evil 4 earlier, but I decided, you know what, like four hours of that shit, three, four hours of that shit, I, you know, I'm good. I'm just, I, I made a lot of progression in that game. So I'm just looking at games, you know, shopping for really, really good sales. Like this was $8 for four episodes. Damn. So yeah, I'm just kind of looking around, seeing if there's anything on sale. Yeah, I love puzzles, Zart. It's word for puzzle lovers, right? I love puzzles. I really love puzzles. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I thought puzzles were whack. Like, I, I fucking hated puzzles. I hated history. I hated, like, so many things. But it was only through gaming that I developed a taste for it. Right, because I played so many games and like, you know, in a lot of games, you got to deal with puzzles, right? And all of a sudden, I realized like, hey man, puzzles are actually fucking tight. And you know, I didn't like history, so I didn't like, you know, the world war and whatnot. And then as a kid, I played Medal of Honor on PS1. And I was like, wow, this shit actually happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, damn, I actually like got so deep into learning about World War II that I would sit and watch like 10 hour documentaries. Like, I think the recent one that I rewatched, uh, was on Netflix. It's like World War II Colorize. I highly recommend anyone who, to watch it. It's very entertaining. 
you know, it's based on a historical moment and uh, it's crazy. Puzzle games are really addictive, right, Snooze? Like, what, what games are you playing right now, though, Snooze? Your, name, your, your Twitch name is very addictive to say. Snooze. Sap Snooze. You ever watch Chris Ramsey videos? I don't know who Chris Ramsey is. Is that like Gordon Ramsay's son? <laughs> Michelle says, can you do a reaction to the Dark Pictures Little Hope official release date trailer, please? Want to know your opinion of the trailer. Okay. Uh, let me pull up YouTube a little bit so we can react to it. But I don't think I'll like it because like it's the same developers who made Until Dawn, right? And I felt that Until Dawn was, it felt like really trashy. All right, so let's watch it together right now. The dark official release date trailer. Okay, I'm gonna just uh copy and paste exactly the trailer that you posted. Snooze says to be honest, I don't game a lot. I usually spend my time drawing and drinking tea. Oh, I used to do that a lot. I drew I draw a lot. So all the art that you see on my channel are drawn by me. Because I used to be a professional artist for about 10 to 12 years. I think like uh I worked on like game titles, a lot of game titles. I worked on Ghost of Tsushima. I have artwork from Ghost of Tsushima. I worked on, uh, fuck, what was it called? Castlevania, Lord of Shadows. I work on Starhawk. I don't even think you guys know a game called, called Starhawk. It's on PS3. I worked on it. Uh, I worked on Assassin's Creed. Yeah. He does like really hard puzzles. Oh, that who he is. Okay. Yeah, so I love drink, uh, drawing a lot. All right, let's watch this. You guys ready? So I'm watching the Dark Pictures Little Hope official release date trailer. Uh, this is a recommendation from Michelle. And I'm watching it because she likes the game a lot. But I don't know if I'll like it. Peggy 18. It was creepy, but it just felt like Until Dawn. Until Dawn had the same shit. Right? It had the same exact graphics and like... Wait, I, I did play Until Dawn a little bit. It just felt a little cheap. Uh, Sineke says, which AC did you work on? I worked on Black Flag. I did a little bit of For Brotherhood. Uh, fuck. What was the one I worked on with? It's the fucking French one. Is it called Unity? Because I did like some concept art like near Notre Dame. Yeah, I think it, that was that was it. With the touch of Blair Witch. I think they're just trying to combine like multiple sources of horror to give you something. You know? You need to get it and stream it. It's not cheap, Michelle. It's like a, it's probably like a $60 game. And I didn't like Until Dawn. And I got that game for free. Ooh, Call of Cthulhu. I, I heard of this game, but I don't really know what it is about. Uh, it's another one of them first-person, like, games. It looks pretty legit, though. What do you guys think about Call of Cthulhu? Do you like it? It's $12? Really? Original price was $41.90. Yeah. I don't know. Call of Cthulhu looks interesting. I think I'm venturing a lot into, like, horror these days. And horror genre is not necessarily like my my best kind of game. Damn. King's Quest. Oh, I didn't buy this game. I got this game for free because it, it writes that I purchased it, but I wouldn't purchase this. I, I don't know what this is. They don't even have screenshots. Horror games are pretty hype. Yeah, it is, news. Like, the only reason why I started streaming horror games is because my viewers like my reactions because I don't tend to do very well with them. Uh, but I think I'm getting a taste for it. I, I've been playing a lot of horror games these days. Ginter says definitely check out Chris Ramsey, though, but I promise you won't regret it. All right, I'll just save his name. Chris Ramsey. Is, is he a YouTuber or something? Oh, he has a YouTube. All right, I'll 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 just look into him. Thank you. You love my expression on the trailer. It was creepy, but it doesn't look like fun to play. 
that's the problem with a lot of games like that, right? Like, because they focus a lot on presentation in terms of graphics and the lighting, things like that. How are you going to make a game about it? Right? A lot of like games from like Until Dawn, stuff like that, like Detroit Become Human. It's almost like, like a visual novel. You know, you're just selecting what to say and sometimes what you select doesn't even matter. Right? That's what I fucking hate, right? Like when you select what to say, it should matter. And they shouldn't like twist that thing and give you like, oh, surprise. Actually, that ans- that like that thing you said, even though you thought it was cool, it was actually fucked up. That's why the character decided to commit Sudoku, right? And I'm like, what? You know? So I don't like that. Yeah. There's not a lot of games out there for uh, that's uh, on this con. Man, I went, I was, okay, so I completed Last of Us 1 and I, I did the DLC. The DLC was cool, but I heard so many bad things about The Last of Us 2 that I decided to go, you know, watch the spoilers and stuff. And obviously, I'm not going to spoil it here. Don't worry. I'm not going to talk about it, but it is so disappointing. Last of Us 2 is a shit game, right? So obviously, I'm not talking about spoilers, but... They didn't really innovate the gameplay that much from Last of Us 1. You know? Michelle says you love the gameplay of The Last of Us 2, but the story is horrible. Yeah. But, like, the reason why the gameplay is not as good, because they never really push the gameplay forward. Like, a lot of the same enemies you encountered from the first game, you encounter in the second game. I think they only introduced one brand new zombie. Um, and even like the weapons customization part in the game, it's the same as the first one. They never expanded on it. They never improved it. It's just like playing like Last of Us 1 with better graphics. That's all. You know? Uh, have you played Trover Saves the Universe? No, I never heard of it. Is it on PlayStation? And the reason why I'm looking for games on PlayStation rather than PC is because I can't stream while I'm running games on um, PC because my PC got to stream and record. So if it runs games also, it's going to heat up really bad. No, we don't see it here. Trover, I think that's probably a PC game, right? Yeah, the gameplay is like, but what they they did add was adding a dog that can smell where you went. I think that was cool, but it's it's whatever, bro. Like nobody wants to kill like dogs that are like nice to like. Like if it was like a zombie dog, I don't wouldn't mind it, but I w- I don't like to kill like dogs that are just doing their jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't even give you like an option to, you know, tranquilize the dog so that it just goes to sleep. I I fucking hate killing animals in games, unless the animal is justifiably evil. Like, the crows in Resident Evil are all evil. That's why you gotta pop them. That's why they drop items, right? But man. Greed foul. Yeah, I don't know. Because special offers, I already looked through the under 27. Uh, I got the free games, Greed Fall. Hitman 3 hype is gone. Oh, wait, how many missions were there in Hitman 3? Snew says, yeah, for re- for real, killing animals, they aren't e- really evil is pretty messed up. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I, I have a pet. I have a dog. Like, I had a dog. My dog passed away a year ago. I have a cat. Why would I want to hurt animals? I fucking love animals. Right? Surprisingly, you didn't purchase Hitman 3. Don't. Like I said, Michelle, you should wait until like the, you know, um, until you get can get a PS5 or a better PC. Ginter says Xbox, maybe it's more of a humorous game. Voiceovers from Rick and Morty. Oh, but it's not a Rick and Morty game, is it? I don't really know a lot about Rick and Morty. I think I tried watching Rick and Morty on Netflix or something. And I think I, I tend... 10 brain cells in my brain just died. I couldn't understand what was going on. It was just like really short, like short attention span cartoon. Like, I don't know. 
Michelle says I want a gaming PC over a PS5. I got you. Got you. Save up for the best. Don't compromise and get cheaper parts. Uh, so if you can wait five more months to save up a little more to get a better, the, like a higher level graphics card, do that. But don't like uh, cheap out on PCs. Kratos says you've been watching gameplay of Hitman 3 on YouTube and graphically it looks amazing. I guess the gameplay is still pretty much the same, right, as Hitman 2. Um, I guess they just bumped up the graphics for next generation. But you can also play Hitman 3 on PS4. But I think the gameplay is pretty much the same, I think. I know, like, comparing, like, Hitman 1 and 2, uh, 2 definitely improves some things. I, I really enjoy Hitman 2. Like, I really like the fact that in Hitman 2, you can kind of see, like, the surveillance camera cone of vision, right? That was helpful because, like, a lot of times, like, sometimes I thought I was invisible to the camera and I wasn't, you know? Yeah, I think Hitman 3 is going to be pretty hype, but as of right now, I'm trying not to watch any gameplay. I'm not trying to watch any trailer. Occasionally, I would see a screenshot show up. You know, I kind of avoid that. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Hitman 3. I think like what I have the most problem about Hitman 2 was the fact that Hitman 2 cutscenes were not as good as Hitman 1, right? Hitman 1 cutscenes were so good, right? Remember they, they did that whole montage of like where Agent 47's been like ever since like the first Hitman game ever? I really love that. And then like... In Hitman 2, they didn't do any cutscenes. Most of their cutscenes were like static images that became slideshows. Right? Hitman 1 cutscene. Man, there was like this really sick cutscene. Can I show it to you guys? It, it was like on um it was like Hitman 1. It was so good. Oh fuck, I don't want to see your fucking logo. It's so irritating when people put their logo over shit that is not theirs. Where was the montage logo? Um Let me see. Montage. I think it was called it was like a montage. This was like the best, one of the best montages I've ever seen. Oh, it's called Legacy. Okay, let me type Legacy. Oh, I think it's this one, right? Do they have HD 1080? Okay, let's watch this. This is so good. And they never ever gave us like even better cutscenes in Hitman 2. And I understand why. Because in case you guys didn't know, there was a transition period between Hitman 1 and 2. IOI in a... Oh, hold up. Yo, my bad, bro. That was like uh, my delivery guy. <sighs> anyway, what what was I saying? Uh, what was I talking about? I forgot about that. I think I was talking about Hitman uh cutscenes, right? Okay, let me catch up with chat. Um, GTA Five is so old. Yeah, it looks really old. Hitman games on PS Two and PS Three. You have you played any? Uh, yeah. So. I I stream Blood Money on on uh, Twitch. So if you want to watch my Blood Money playthrough, I think it's available right now on on YouTube. Part one until the finale. Oh, I was talking about IOI, right? So in case you guys didn't know, IOI Interactive was uh, like they were owned by Square Enix. So between Hitman One and Two, 
Square Enix decided to let them go. And like, um, so IOI bought back their own studio. So they went independent. And, um, it's pretty amazing what IOI is able to accomplish with the, like, Hitman 2 as a game, right? But I think the compromise was they removed the cutscenes. Like, the cutscenes in Hitman 2 were so lackluster. It was, like, dead-ass, like, pretty boring. You know, the, the voice acting was fantastic. You know, you can hear, like, Agent 47, Diana Burnwood. They are talking to each other. It's, like, pretty cool. But the cutscenes would be, like, so fucking dead. It was just, like, literally, like, JPEG images of, like, Agent 47 on the phone. And they try to make it look 3D by having rain appear on it. It was pretty bad. Hey, just dropping by to say goodnight. Good night, Jima. All right, let's watch this. This is like my favorite cutscene from the Hitman one. Is it starting? Okay. I love this so much. Damn. These are all missions from the original Hitman games. Do you know that? I think this was like Hitman 1 or 2, I can't remember. You can pretend to be a sushi chef. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, this was a mission in one of the Hitman games. You can drown the guy. <laughs> Damn, what a way to die. Oh, this was in Hitman Blood Money. The best. Hitman Blood Money. Nobody yes. ever came close. You define the art, and it defines you. Man, that was so tight. Oh, one of the guys he killed? Your this guy looks like Dr. Phil. This guy looks world. like Dr. Phil. Look at that, look at that, look at that. There's a guy who's gonna come out, he's the, like Dr. Phil. Isn't that Dr. Phil? What I need you to do? Powerful men have fallen by your hand, but by the same token, others Man. have risen. I was so sad that Hitman 2 didn't do you have realize a, what a quality kind of cutscene world like this. You've been shaping? They made Diana Burnley younger in this one. She was like kind of old in the, like, the previous games. He looks like him, but less fat. Damn, Michelle, you savage. I live in that world. You see that clown nose? He had a clown nose. I have seen the consequences. I have felt. You see the clown nose? I live. Like the in clown that nose world. is like literally. Look at that. Isn't that a clown nose? Uh, Foxes, is this fan made? No, this is the original, the official. Uh, cutscene within Hitman 1. And the sad part about it was they never replicated the cutscenes in, like, they never gave, like, quality cutscenes in Hitman 2. I was, like, disappointed. Like, Hitman 2 as a game is fan fucking tastic, right? In fact, Hitman 2 definitely tops Hitman 1 in terms of, like, gameplay and locations that you can go to do your missions. But, the special thing about Hitman that I think that should not be forgotten is like the cutscenes are very, very important because if you play a game like Hitman Blood Money back in the day, the cutscenes bridge the gap in between the missions and they tell the overarching story of what is really happening. And like Hitman 2 cutscenes were so like, they, they were not even cutscenes. They were just like JPEG images, you know, uh, being like, um, you know, it just felt like, man, you know, but again, you know, I can't fault IY for it because like when they were making Hitman 2, they are, they were and are an independent studio. So I don't know how it's going to be like in Hitman 3, but my hope is Hitman 3 has the same kind of quality in terms of the cutscenes. Zarsis, where PS4 Hitman 1 and 2 takes place in the series or the reboot, the timeline? I think like, okay, so the thing, the, the thing about like Hitman 1 and 2 is I am not entirely sure, but what I think is for real is all the events that have happened in Agent 47's life has already happened, right? So these were all the missions from the previous games. 
right? Someone make a com- someone made a comparison between like you know like the missions and like uh, the older games. So literally, like this this scene over here, I think it's from the first game. It's so cool. See that? Like in this game, you can actually serve the guy sushi. So these, this, they call this cutscene legacy, right? Because it's respecting the legacy of Hitman. It's so cool. They even made the NPC model like, you know, the guy. They even gave him the sunglasses and everything. But with like amazing cutscenes. This is why when I saw this 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 cutscene when I was playing it, I almost cried, bro. Look at that. Yeah, this is this is the game. <laughs> Never gets old. Yeah, this was in Hitman you Blood Money. The best. Nobody ever came close. You define the art, and it defines you. It's so good. Yeah, man. Your I think this was an absolution. Changed the world. Yeah, this was an absolution one. All right, look at that. Dos Osmond eliminated. Men yeah, so um, I think uh, Hitman One and Two is technically a soft reboot because it it's trying to introduce uh new gamers to the world of Hitman. Uh, but I think what was so magical about this cutscene in general was like the love and respect that they showed their older fans. Like, if you are an older fan of the Hitman series, like me, it's Wow, like the feeling that you have when you watch this trailer was, it was unbelievable, man. I was like, almost like, I never cry in games, right? But I almost wanted to cry because it felt like I was watching the game I played as a kid come alive, if that makes sense, you know? Yeah, so it was really special. So I, I think to answer your question, Zard, um, I think Hitman 1 and 2 is a continuation of all the hitmans before it so it, it is really a, the latest one and the beauty of like the recent reboot is they actually showed you a little they actually allowed you to play a little bit of agent 47's training so if you play hitman one uh you start out in the um i think it's called the ica and they actually teach you how to like become a hitman and it was really cool. So they had like a mock setting where it was like, like you know, the boat and stuff like that. And like, you you learn how to like poison people's drinks. You learn how to hide behind walls. You learn how to change your outfit. And it was really nice to see like how Agent 47 first joined the ICA. And then obviously they fast forward the time, you know. So I think that what is like a bit, confusing for me as a old time gamer is like when I play certain missions like for example right the showstopper Paris mission in the first game I don't exactly know when that event took place it could have easily easily have happened between Hitman 2 and 3 or it could have easily happened alongside Blood Money or it could have happened like after all those things were over so sometimes when he does all those missions I'm like is that like, you know? Yeah, so I, I really got to research into it and like educate myself about the timeline. But all the Hitman games that have taken place before it uh, are respected and they are all recognized as can- canon events that have happened. Michelle says, IY is looking for new members to create the new James Bond game. Yo, I heard about it. I don't know how they're going to go about it, but I think they're probably going to use the Hitman engine. Starts is because it's confusing if Agent 47 escaped the lab as a kid or a teenager, and if he's the solo survival survivor of the project. Okay, so it is assumed that Agent 47 is the sole survivor. It is assumed, right? But it is not true, right? Because in like the in like all the Hitman games, you do encounter other clones. Uh, you you do encounter other people that are that were raised in the lab as you. 
and you end up having to fight them or kill them. So it's pretty similar to Metal Gear Solid. Like each time we think that Solid Snake is the only one, all of a sudden we get Liquid, we get Solidus, you know. Uh, so yeah, I think that, that makes it interesting. I don't think like Agent 47 is the only sole survivor. Michelle says, are you going to apply for them to design the maps? No, obviously not. I would rather play it. I wouldn't want to like work on the game and know everything there is to know about it. And when I play it, it doesn't feel as special. Because like, if you work in the game industry, anyone who works in the game industry can tell you that even if the game they're working on is like very special, they wish they can play it as a new gamer who does not know what's you know, the secret or the story. So now I don't, I think I'm not interested in working in the gaming industry as a developer anymore. I prefer to work within it as a entertainer, as a streamer. Yeah, man. So anyway, guys, um, I don't have much for y'all. I was actually thinking like, um, I'm gonna just call it right here, but. I think, okay, so I'll be back day after tomorrow, according to my schedule. Today is the second stream of the week, but uh, tomorrow is my regularly scheduled off break. But when I do come back, uh, I will be playing the council, right? So I will be reserving Resident Evil 4, like continuing RE4 on the last stream of the week. So on the last stream of the week, I'll be continuing RE4. But I'm kind of like, I want to keep things fresh. I want to like keep my adrenaline like chill. So after tomorrow, which is my off day, day after tomorrow, I'm coming back to stream and I most likely will be streaming the council. So I hope you guys, you know, look forward to that. It's going to be my first time playing the council. You know, um, I will stream exactly around this time. Uh, give or take maybe 10 to 30 minutes. Uh, if you don't know, can't remember when I go live, just make sure you hit that bell notification. So whenever I do go live, if you have the Twitch app, you'll be notified and I'll be starting the council fresh playthrough from the start. So um, yeah, man, just want to say a big shout outs again to Michelle, Zard, Fox, Prido, Gintir, uh, everyone, man. Snooze, uh, Cinekeet, Burrito, Big Boss, Doritos, everyone, man. If I miss out your name, uh, shout out to you. Thank you, guys. I think I'm going to call it right here. If you guys like to join my community on Discord, you want to chat with me off stream, uh, join my Discord. You want to watch like my highlight clips on YouTube, watch my YouTube channel. So on my YouTube channel, I definitely upload highlight clips of stuff that I talk about, right? I will talk about like various stuff. Like I'll talk about like basically about anything. So recently on my YouTube channel, I uploaded a video of why I think buying PS5 in the this year is a bad idea. Um, yeah, so go check that out. And also if you miss any of the streams, they will all be available. Gintir, have a good night, but thank you, Prito. Take care, guys.